Okay, let's get this party started. Let's let Carl in. Hey there. Hello. We're already recording. Indeed we are. Wow. How long do you think till um, uh, um, Vincent says something? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get here first. Well, that's true. Okay. What do you got planned for Thanksgiving? Uh, as yet, I have no plans for Thanksgiving. Oh, come on now. Your family, you know they're going to do something, right? You're going to host Not it, aren't you? Not no. <laughs> Come on now. You can make a turkey. You're a clever guy. We can all come over. We'll have the whole trivia game come over and we'll all have Thanksgiving at your place. Every, everyone will fly to St. Louis. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. We can start driving today. <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm trying to get those thing all done. Darn it. How come? I'm trying to get the uh, schedule, the date to format right. And it wants to format a different. Oh, because I use I use dashes instead of doing lines. Oh, these computers. Can't they think? Oh, I turned it into dashes again. That's weird. Here, let me let you look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right there. See, I'm trying to get this. I, I've done it fine for the last who knows how long. Let me delete it. Uh, somehow the formatting got totally changed. How about we do this? You need to copy the formatting from the upper cell. To the next okay, cell. copy, paste, change the date. Ta-da! Look at that. Ta-da! I can do it. I can be trained. <laughs> I, I but have you, technology. You would, you, but you, do, you wouldn't necessarily know how to choose a particular format for the date. Oh, yeah, I could. I do well, go. I, I sure do. You'd go up to. Well, then you could have just done that, too. Data. I know, but I've been doing it like this every time. So I just kind of thought it would be easy to do. Hi, Jim. Hello. How are you today? Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, Got anything planned for uh, Thanksgiving? Well, um any thanksgiving plans are a bit out of date since i'm in canada we had it back in october oh that's right so you should come to america and have thanksgiving again yeah <laughs> that's how it works yeah yeah gee, i guess i gotta uh 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 go to the trouble of actually getting a passport uh i haven't i haven't gone outside canada in quite a while <laughs> oh just for thanksgiving we were yes. thinking of all going to carl's house in st louis yes, Missouri. We were. he was going to make his turkey right yeah that's what i heard so i guess so st louis so carl is about as close to the center of the u.s as uh, you can get that's uh, why i thought well, it was, that's why carl thought it was a great idea close yeah Oh, uh, so I guess you're a little bit east of the center. Yeah, uh, Some, I somewhere remember, in I think somewhere in Kansas, if I recall, is the geographical center. We can yeah, go to Terry's. I, yeah, I I remember hearing this thing about some uh, some people, some guys got uh, raised because uh, they're. You are that their internet URL location just got or anybody who wasn't defined except somewhere in the US got put to this put, put to this spot in the middle yeah. in the absolute center of the US. <laughs> yeah. And occasionally people living there get problems with law enforcement thinking they've tracked down some illicit internet internet activity to them, where it's like no. It's just that in, in lack of a, an ability to actually locate where the IP came from, it just assigned it to the center of the US. Wendy's here. Hi, Wendy. Yeah. 
Hello. We're going to go to Carl's for Thanksgiving in St. Louis, Missouri. Do they have turkeys there? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carl's cooking. The geographical center of the 48 contiguous states is. We're going to make this a thing. 2.6 miles northwest of the center of Lebanon, Kansas. He's reading that out. He doesn't have it memorized. Yeah. And I told you somewhere in Kansas, though. Jim says he's already had his thirst Thanksgiving because he's in Canada. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they have, yeah, can, the ca, Canadian, they have um, some of the same holidays, but they celebrate them differently. They have a prequel. <laughs> yeah. um, there's a yeah. market near, nearby me that has a yeah. really nice deli, and they have sort of Thanksgiving food all year round. And I've already been over there um, uh, picking up stuffing and uh, turkey drumsticks. And they, the only thing they didn't seem to have was yams. And they had a little sign on the counter that said that if all you wanted was a turkey breast, there is going to be a supply chain problem. <laughs> it's, I thought, it's not how I thought of supply chains, but I guess it's the turkeys um there's something wrong with with the availability richard saunders hey. look at oh he's showing up hold on there's richard hey, hey hi hi we're all talking about going to carl's for um uh, thanksgiving yeah sure we are but you've already had your thanksgiving jim jim told us canadians and australians do it early right we don't no. have <gasps> you're not thankful for anything What's yeah. wrong with you people? Yeah. Well, we're Maybe thankful, thankful for not being all year American around. sometimes. I think. Don't you, don't you, didn't you have Lincoln to, no. Yeah. Hi, well, Dre, Hi, uh, well, 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 after all, Thanksgiving is a harvest festival. So, uh, uh, so it makes sense for Australians to have it in, say, April or May. <laughs> oh, no, that makes sense. We have Vegemite and Mustic Day. Mm. <laughs> I have some, I just found some, um, uh, mustic uh, lifesavers and some of the mustics. I'll have to get those out for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Brandy, you got Thanksgiving plans? Yeah, we're, we usually host. Everyone comes over here. I like being the host too. I'm, oh, I'm, really? I, I'm a host family too. That's cool. I think it's great. I think it's so much more fun. We I'm so bad about helping uh, some if somebody else was to do it, then you're like, I'm no good at just know. sitting there and enjoying the meal and not wanting to clean up after, you know. Mm. Well, no, 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 making it a pot, making it a potluck so that uh, the uh, cooking work gets distributed somewhat. <laughs> That's true. That's always nice, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Hi, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, those, his, his pet birds. Oh, look at the kitty. Yeah. Aw. Yeah. Fish. Hello. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah. Right. Very cute. Bob, what's it going uh -huh. on over there? It looks cold. Yeah, let's see. It is. Well, how we, cold is it? Uh well it's it's thirty it's thirty-six in the chicken coop. Mm. Wow. And the little one says forty-eight, but it's been in my pocket, so I'll, it'll take a while for it to sample the air. Are, isn't um, it supposed to be warmer for the chickens? Isn't that bad for the chickens? No, that's pretty good. It, they're they're fine. They mm -hmm. they really don't mind the the cold. I've got their heater on because yeah. it's going to get down to twenty tonight. Yeah. The thing is, I I ordered gas a couple. I hadn't ordered any uh, propane yet. <clears throat> I finally ordered some, and they said, "Well, it'll be two, between today and the and and next Friday, and <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow." So. It's, you can always set it on fire. <laughs> no, it's okay. My wife isn't here, so we're okay. Oh, okay. Oh, she would. Oh, she would be. No, she would kill her probably. Janine, we're just talking about Bob's chickens. How cold it is over there for his chickens. How's your chickens doing? My chickens are happy to have me home. I don't think they got clean the entire time I was gone. How about Trask, your puppy? Oh, Trask was very glad to he see. He didn't me. ignore you? No, oh, that was my imagination. He was very excited. 
Yes, he still loves me. Aw. <laughs> look at look at the Saunders person here. Look at him. <laughs> Your kitty isn't blinking. <laughs> so Janine, you've done you've done like amazing. I can't believe where you have been. Oh my gosh, you your next adventure needs to be the Antarctic. I don't know if you're watching Jeff Wag's uh, photos. I had two road trips to the Antarctic. <laughs> you have been just crazy. I mean, seriously, you just you made you made uh, you made a uh, um uh Faith and Romero's trip that they did over like 10 days look like chicken feed or something you were but we did wow. faith and romero's trip trip in the past oh so okay we have now pretty much hit every national park east of the badlands and carlsbad cat or west of carlsbad caverns and the badlands there's a few exceptions, but almost all national parks and national monuments in those areas. Where would you have liked to have had another day or two? Um, Albuquerque, maybe. Um, Take a left turn there. I, I left took turn left in turns Albuquerque? and right turns and traffic. And yeah, I would have liked to have hiked more. Um, reference at the oh at the, left the, turn at Albuquerque. Take a left turn at Albuquerque. I can't do his accent. Can you guys? That's right. Nobody. Oh, else Susan, look at. I got your sticker. You know, I couldn't find my my um March for Science sticker to put on my BB gun. So she put it on. She put the. So I have the gorilla skeptic sticker on your BB gun. On my BB well, gun. That is, make sure you put a picture of that up somewhere. Careful somewhere. with that. You put your eye out. Oh, yeah. And Christmas. It would be really hard. <laughs> oh, Christmas. I, just, I, I don't think so. Hi, Vincent. How are you? I am very tired, but. What? Still kicking in there. I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, no. Oh. Well. So what's so you, so we'll be very boring tonight. We'll just be talking a monotone like this, and then maybe you'll be able to sleep easier tonight because it's so boring. Oh, Round no, one, so top ten lullabies. Top <laughs> ten <laughs> lullabies. We can't sing them. We'll talk about cheese and butter and eggs. Round two, ten most Bella. boring speeches. It's another audio round. What? Round two, ten most boring speeches. It'll be another audio round. <laughs> monotone. Look at him cute. Oh, he's only just he keeps just it will be monotone rules. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? We saw Mono um for Halloween. He showed up at a party Peggy put on, and it was so funny because we were like we kept talking about trivia. We kept saying, Oh yeah, mono rules. We just you know, some of us hate your mono rules, and he's like <laughs> We're like, no, no, I love mono rules. It was just, he was just like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> I think it's fun. Carolyn, you sneak in here. I'm sneaky. Sneak, 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 sneak. It looks like a haunted house behind. I the think. Dog. I think in a couple of weeks I have another ten trivia questions. I think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. To do with. Uh, to do with Weird Al Yankovic. Don't say. You're not oh, saying no. anything. Now you had to go another four weeks. So we've forgotten. Sure. We I can wait another that, four Susan. weeks. I have. I Based look on at, our replays, I think next week will be fine. Look, <laughs> I met him once. I went to his concert. That, and that's he Brian did. Um, Richard Saunders? Yeah, that's, a, that's Brian Dunning from 10 years ago. <laughs> you met Weird Al? Yep. What do you say? Um, a concert in Syracuse. And so he was really cool and stayed afterwards to sign everybody's, you know, ticket or program or what whatever. So I yeah, so fun. admire him. I'm writing it down that I have got to watch this movie. What is it on? Where do you watch it at? It's on the Roku channel. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. I don't well, think I have a Roku channel. A Weird Al Yankovic movie. Yeah, is it good? 
it's 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 a weird comedy so it's it, weird. some people not everyone it's not going to be for everyone yeah, i enjoyed it a, some people don't like it some people do is it yeah. well, he shared on facebook today that he got to keep one item one thing from from it it was a grave tomb <laughs> the uh head song if you don't have a roku device you can just go to roku.com on your computer and watch it on the website oh it probably has commercials or something yeah i mean i think it has commercials regardless yeah that's also if you were wondering where all the stuff from quibi went Who? roku bought all of that who's quibi oh, quibi was a short oh my uh, goodness streaming service from a oh, violent people. Richard, what are you showing us? <laughs> that, that was the beginning of the weird out. Yeah. Oh, hi, Cindy. Hi, Susan. How are you? I'm fine. Max. Good. That's excellent. How are you? Um, we're hanging in here. Okay. We're 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 trying to. Oh my gosh, today, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. We had a leaky faucet outside. Drip, 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 and I fixed it. I, I had to have my neighbor come over and help me because, you know, when you're watching these videos on how to do it on YouTube, mm -hmm. damn, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I get over there. I'm like, I can do this. I can turn the water off. I can do all this stuff, and I get all that done. And I'm like, okay, just undo this bolt. Okay, and then the bolt, it wouldn't come <laughs> off. Wouldn't freaking come off. <laughs> but he came over and he he's like, okay, you got to take this. You're going to have to take the whole thing off the wall. But first, you don't want to turn the pipe that it's can I also oh, just it wasn't hard. It was just that you had to use some little muscle. Yeah. Oh, here now comes blue check mark. You have to use the trick. Now, it's Susan, really you don't have to. Well, so, so Susan, you don't you, you don't have to uh, make sure you turn it off sometime in October so that uh, so that you don't get uh, uh, water freezing in it. And, uh, no, <laughs> the videos that I was watching told me that there are different kinds of sp uh, spouts, right? Is that what they're called, or what's another word for them? Yeah. <coughs> says, um, they they call it like a spigot, spigot. And he says there's all kinds. Like in cold weather areas, you have these long ones that has to go into the house and. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm still I'm still getting tomatoes outside. <laughs> we don't have any of that problem. Yeah, what are you talking about? Check mark mockers here. Let me see your check mark. Hmm. Blue check mark. Where hmm. is it? It's really me. Where is uh, it? On Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't see his tweet. And Ron, Ron, I'm dying to talk to you. I'm here. So, so, what do you think? I was so disappointed. On Monday, I almost texted you and said, what do you think with Luann? But, but her hunky brother? Well, like, before we knew it was her brother, they're like, there's a hunk that just walked in. And I'm thinking, oh, is it is it her old boyfriend, Oz? Is it a new love interest? Is it, who could it possibly be? Oh, my God. She's gonna end up with Ox. That's all there is to it. No, not Luann. That's Tiffany. Might end up. Oh, that's sorry. That's Tiffany. You're right. That's I, Tiffany. Stay on it, man. You're the, my <laughs> only friend that knows what we're talking about. I can't have you not paying attention. That's not. But but in the second on Tuesday, whenever she realized it was her brother. All right, you guys, just ignore us for a second. When she realized it was her brother, that was the mm. hunk that walked in. Yep. And there was that guy that was standing there with a the little mustache, a little darker complexion. And he turned and looked in and he, he looked at Luann with a little interest. I thought that might be her new love interest. But we don't know who he is. And I think he's written out already because they started moving on with the story trajectory. Oh, that's true. But do you think Tiffany and Hawks? No way. Really? Let me I mean, guess. Are we talking about the, the Housewives of Jersey Shore or something? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Where did you get here? Ron and I have this connection. We're following Luann. I don't know who this is. And I don't think I want to know. There's going to be a whole category. Ron's going to write it. Oh. And he's going to do it. And then I will be on his team. And whatever team he's on, we're going to kick kick ass. I'll be just like, oh, no. This is what happens. And so-and-so ends up with so-and-so. And, -so. and, -so -and, -so. and -so -and -so. 
So cartoon. just by the tone of your voice and relating that to other tones I've heard, are you talking about Yellowstone? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about Luann. It's okay, a cartoon well, that's been I don't on know who Luann is, but oh, I've heard other people sound passionate in the same way about Yellowstone. So oh. We don't watch it. So I oh, don't I don't, oh, I know. You're talking about a TV show. Yes. <laughs> that's a, is that the Kevin Costner one? Uh, yes, I believe Kevin Costner's in it. I'm yeah, not, we, we watched episode one and then they said you have to pay for everything else. So we've you know, only we seen episode one. We saw episode one at our right. daughter's yeah, in Denver. <laughs> and then it, it was a pay after that. And we weren't really successful. That's a shame. They were recommending it, weren't they? They were highly recommending yeah. it. Yeah. Yellowstone, but I don't want to pay. What is it on? I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think remember. maybe FX. F oh my goodness what is what is all these channels with all this geez i just I canceled know. disney plus i'm not watching disney plus i just finally canceled it bobby waving at us bob looks cold <laughs> i know we already talked about hi rob you know what's really good on disney plus is that Andor show and and or and or you get a decision star wars show on television yeah that's how I feel about these channels and or which cancels. I'm so sick of so many. Hi, Peggy Peg. Actually, it's actually and or. How are you, Peggy? Good, thanks. How's it what going? You, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? I'm having a tiny little Friendsgiving with some friends and then my neighbors are coming over for pie. So and I'm oh. getting it all done at Whole Foods. I'm not going to cook a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Good show. Yeah. Very, we very had good. We had to do Whole Foods one year and it was very delicious. Oh, good to know. Yeah. I kind of didn't care, you know, as long as I don't have to cook it. <laughs> and, I know that feeling. Yep. And in, in honor of the season, what do you get when you divide the circumference of a jack o' lantern by its diameter? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> That's, that's, a Vince, that's a Vincent joke. Vincent, you're falling no, down. You're just, you're like, I told you know that Canadian. Two, two years in a row at Halloween. <laughs> well, it's Jim, not, we missed Jim, it this year. Joke. Jim actually does live in Calgary. He's Calgarian. Like uh, I Calgarian. That's why he's got the same punny joke. You missed it, Susan. Go back and watch yeah. the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Leonard. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go up to Ben? Hi, Jane. Uh, sometime in December. Okay, so not for a while. <clears throat> not for a little while. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to cook anything either for um, our Yule event. Well, you don't have a Yule oh. event, or you're talking about Christmas. Yeah. Well, we're we, not even on Christmas, dude. It's Thanksgiving. We're, just, we're still talking about. It's Thanksgiving <laughs> for you. Yeah, we had our Thanksgiving already. Are you in Canada? Yeah. 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 Calgary. That's where our yeah. daughter is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh, you don't goodness. know each other? <laughs> I Hi, Mike. Speaking of, speaking of Calgary, Adrian should be joining us. Yeah, she long. said she'll be here at seven. Yeah. Hi, Romero. Yeah. Susan, you have me down for a category tonight, right? You're doing all of them. <laughs> Hi, Jane. And the same one four times in a row, though. So. <laughs> The uh, scores may improve if you do that. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not as much but as you might think, probably. That, that's <laughs> why I said may. <laughs> um, so I need to assign somebody here something, right? Let's see. Who shall it be? Let me see. You know, our goal is to try to make somebody. Ooh, Ron's looking right at me. You're the co host. You're in charge of the trolls tonight. Charge the trolls. The trolls. <laughs> I silenced the trolls. You get to kick them out. You kick right. them into the waiting room and the next them Thursday, there. if you want. This is being recorded, isn't it, Susan? Mm hmm. You could put this on your, on your, um, on your um show i hear you have a show what you want me to put the whole of susan's trivia on my show every week <laughs> four hours no problem people will love it oh my god hello skeptic zone you. listeners hi out there so i'm supposed cut, to be muting the trolls on, is that what i hear it'll, it'll, it'll cut down you. on production uh, effort 
Oh, he muted me, little snot. He said mute the trolls. Just do a blooper oh. reel. Uh, Katie K. I have my uh, trivia questions ready. So. Oh, you're going to do some too? Well, I, I, should that... I should look at these here. Hi, Jamie. I, 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 that that I was gonna... you, you know what this means, Susan? What? Oh, dice game. We could do the dice game. We got time. All right. I'd like okay, to people let, let listen after over. the music. People, thank you, Susan. People who listen after the music to the Skippy Zone podcast. It's time once again to play the dice game where I'm going to roll a D10. I'm going to roll it three times, and you have to use your psychic magic predicting dumb luck powers or whatever you want to do. You can cheat. You can listen to the show, then go rewind and listen to it again and say, see, I got them all. <laughs> Joining me this week are a cast of thousands, including Susan Gobeck. Hello, Susan. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Hi, Skeptic Zone listeners. I'm back. You're back. And uh, many faces I'm looking at uh, on my screen. Okay, here we go. So everybody who's watching along, because we're playing Susan's Trivia, I'm going to turn the chat on, or the chat should be on for everybody, or just switch the chat on, and put your guess, it's out of uh, 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, put your guess in the chat now. For the first roll of the die. Ooh, Ooh four, eight, seven, seven. Oh, wait, where's the nine. chat? Oh, there it is. This, this looks like some sort of weird code. If you put in these numbers, <laughs> two, four, five. <laughs> Nobody's put 10 yet. That's interesting. Oh, somebody <laughs> put 3.1419. Oh, that's one. <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, here we go. And seven. I've been accused before of cheating. You know, people say um, that's not really the number that's come up. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that you can all see clearly. Why? Why would you cheat though? Because I always exactly. guess five. I always guess five, and see all right. the so one what, time though, that we got no, all there's five. no benefit for him cheating. Like he's not going to win money. Okay, here we go. Uh, we can't see it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so six, six, four, and five. So oh. Four. four. <laughs> <laughs> first, you number, got six. first number is six. So if you've got six, well done. No, so if it comes up six, 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 is Cindy the devil going to appear? Yes. Wait, next well, roll. People have six. Six. Okay, here's type, in, uh, type in your guesses right now for the next roll. That was okay, one. Here comes it's five, two, six, six, two. It should be my phone number, I think. Three. Uh, four, <laughs> four, three Nobody's six. ever picking 10. I don't know why. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I can't see it. You have to it. be very careful. It's a six again. Ooh. Oh. Three sixes come up the devil. Did, did, Ooh, is this, this the is dice dangerous. roller that Greg Wait, Durant made? Is that a nine? <laughs> it's yes, a nine. It's a machine I'm just, made I'm just in Nevada for their voters. <laughs> Richard, is this, the dice, is this the dice roller that uh, Greg Duray gave you? It certainly is. It's a nine. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd get oh, it. Well, you're upside down. You're in Australia, aren't you? Okay, last one. Last one. Here it comes. Oh, put in your guesses. What do we get? Four, oh, seven, wait, wait. eight, eight. Oh, they're coming in thick and fast. Twelve, somebody <laughs> says. <is> so excited. <laughs> if I can, here it comes. And so you oh, can't Jeff guess everything, in. Rob Palmer. Okay. You just press the same number. Okay, okay. Oh, two. 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 How could there not be a single seven. five in that whole thing? So, I, blame, I blame Greg Doray. There's no five on that dice. That's how we choose. Today's winning numbers here. Uh, six, nine, and two. And just to please. Ah, uh, you could have picked up. He just switched dice. it to another yeah, dice. Yeah, he if, you could bend, if you could bend uh, uh, tableware, you could pick up another dice and trick us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> He probably can make a origami dice. Yeah, so, so I have done actually. I've done that before. For okay. some of you guys who don't know, that will be on the skeptic zone. You have to listen to the whole show and then he'll end and then there'll be a pause and then he'll put the dice game. Last week I had I had bloopers at the on the for the Easter egg. Yeah. Where I was trying to do a read for my show and I just this last one? It. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't I, finished I, this last I, one. I, I read Thanks for read spoiling something. it. Ha! Huh. I read something <laughs> funny and I, I just, you know, I, I cracked up. So anyway, that's something for you to look forward to listening to, Susan. I look forward to it every week. Oh, mm. Gail's coming in right now and she missed it. Hey, wasn't last week's episode good with um, Adrian Hill's segment? 
You yeah. haven't listened to it yet. Oh. I got away. <laughs> Here, I'm going to put it back on my paper. And, and and the segment where I give the winning lottery numbers for next week. That was a great <laughs> segment. <laughs> a billion. Hey, that was won by somebody here in uh, California. And you guys know how small California is, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, we is might that, know Was that machine made by Dominion, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get sued now. Thanks. And I don't know. Um, I think this was just some, a custom made one. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've never seen that before. There's the, I don't know if you can see that clearly or not. I see something right. I heard chicken. Um, Cal, Cal, C4labs.com. C4labs. 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 By the way, you mentioned the Dominion. Um... <laughs> Look at Bob's gone and the chicken is having a fit. Look at it. And it's really clever. It's... <laughs> Oh, it hides down. It falls down. Oh, you can do commercial. Everybody they can change be your, your sponsor. Background. <laughs> Richard, change your background. Who? Change your background to what I have. Where are you? Why? So we can oh, be on the pretty. Muppet Show. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Vincent's first up. I am um, uh, looking for Vincent. Where are you on the screen? Hi, Kyle. I'm here. Hey, good um, evening. Yeah. By the way, somebody mentioned the Dominion voting machine. Is there any country besides uh, the U.S. not just go with paper ballots? Uh, we use paper we have ballots paper. in my town. Yeah. Yeah, they but still they, use. Yeah, the the vote the Dominion voting machines I think are what we slide the paper ballots into that count. Yeah, they they still yeah it's kind of a misnomer that they use the machine. They still oh. use paper ballot. Hi, Gail. Yeah. But uh, on all the elections in Canada that I voted in, we just uh, mark it on a ballot and put it into this uh, cardboard box uh, mm -hmm. in such a way that uh, it can't be told who. Oh no, you're right. Who I voted do that for? Too. Do you put a shield over the paper, like a paper no, over the top, um, and then it slides in from there? Jim, the last, the last, uh, the last, uh, the last mm -hmm. election that we had quasi-election we had they used the machines wait you have quasi-elections up there in canada yeah it was kind of it was kind of stupid our <laughs> government says well we want people to decide you know what um i forgot what it what it was it was a plebiscite Ple plebiscite plebiscite Plebiscite, ple, 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 whatever that well i don't even and, know what it uh, is and it's not binding so they didn't what's a plebiscite i'm just yeah. about to look that up please yeah. do. I don't it's even like, it's it's like a um, ballot yeah yeah, yeah. just uh, a referendum. just a ballot it's not official or anything like that yeah. so. and the last time i voted in canada i voted for uh trudeau except that it was pierre Oh, the father? Oh, geez, yeah. that was a long time ago. Well, Ron's really yeah. old. Holy it wasn't God, that really long old. ago. I remember that. <laughs> the early 80s. Oh, uh, before Richard, I got deported. Out of this. <gasps> you um, got kicked out? No, uh, this is a dice tower that I have. Uh, oh. But <laughs> Whoa. That's, what the, that's what the guts look like. Wow. So it really bounces around in there. Oh, okay. Can't see it, Richard. Richard's just in. But yeah, it's like that one's a couple of slopes, and then this one they decided to go pegs because they're a hardwood furniture company. Huh. So they made one with just a bunch of pegs, and you drop a die in it, and it's pretty guaranteed to be pretty chaotic in there. God, I'm so old school. I just pick it up and throw it onto the hard surface and, and look at what it is. There are people who don't trust themselves not to accidentally curb the dice against their favor. I can see it falling and falling off a table or something. Yeah, but... it it gives you something else to blame when it rolls badly. <laughs> All righty, Rue, we're getting there. Okay, I guess we should go. Oh, I should be putting you guys in your breakout rooms. Wow, okay. it's that time. Oh, we have to pick our names. I want to see what you come up with this week. It's been so. Boring lately, right? Absolutely no politics, nothing interesting happening in the world, nothing, nothing happening in space or 
anything like that? No, nothing. Nothing, right? No. Okay. There's lots so. of stuff that happens in space. We yeah. just don't know about it. Yeah, well, that's probably true. But well, some really of us know more than others. Caspian's four and Karen's five. So I've got a so Karen and Caspian will be on teams that are coming up here pretty soon. Okay, so where is um there's Bob. I gotta find Bob. Bob Bob. Let's put Bob. Oh yeah. Bob over here. Oh, by the way, Faith, hello. Just saying hello. All right, so let's go over there and see what we got going on. And I'm going to go get some ice cream while you guys are doing that. I'll get some ice cream later. You, you're the trouble when you mentioned ice cream last week. Uh, now it's going to be a habit for me to go get ice cream. And we're coming back. Seven seconds. Deborah, you there? Hey, can I have this back, please? You can sit on this. <laughs> Look at all those people. Uh, because of their backgrounds, I might sing the uh, um, uh, the Muppets uh, theme song. Oh, look, there's several Muppets. Yeah, They're all on one team. Can you rearrange this so we're next to each other? You can move yourselves, I think, can't you? Or no? No. no. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Am they I can moving you? Can you see it? I now have the three of us. And hang on, I got to get Vincent up there. Okay. Everybody's but it's view not... is separate. Everybody's yeah, I know. View is oh, my goodness. They're yeah. all yeah. playing into that. Every, everyone's <laughs> Zoom is Leonard and Brandy have joined you. <laughs> Deborah says she's going to restart. <laughs> who say hey? Hey, hey, entered the waiting room. Yeah, who say hey? Oh, it's Paul. Hitty, no, he knows that ice cream. Karen. Hey, we'll take Karen. Karen's on five. Oh, okay. You're getting Paula. We're getting Paula. And my brother may do a drive-by later on. Ooh, oh, hey, look at that. Oh, oh, we're going to yeah, get things started nice. on the trivia show tonight. Dun, dun, dun. How come there's so many people that are wearing the, with the same background? One, two, three. Because we're going to look like the Muppet Show when we're done. Five, six, yeah. seven. There's seven of you. Of us, we have no originality. Look in the I think chat. somebody put it in chat. Oh, it's in chat? Okay. It's in chat, yeah. Oh, I see. I was, okay. Do the thing. Next time we do Hollywood Squares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You guys are so funny. Okay, so I brought it up. How do I... How do I take the save? picture on your computer and then make it a background? Yeah. Okay. Are we going to get sued by the Muppet Company for violating their copyright? No, it's just just your little thing back there. It's probably not exact. It's probably just somebody. Uh, it's tune. very obviously an homage. And it wouldn't be the Muppets, it would be no. Disney. Yeah. We're not, the we're not claiming yeah. to be the Muppets. <laughs> yeah, that's we're not trying I to put on your Mickey Mouse ears and we'll really Show's screw them all back. Okay, ask them how to do it. Hey, Paula, I sort of can see you part of your head. <laughs> oh, we can all just oh. look up and down and left and right and like believe we're on the board. Hey, Ben. No, that's how you do it. Choose where to go. What you guys? We, come on, you're learning. This is we all part, of, the part of your lesson. Here. You're supposed to be learning. I don't know where we uh, we lost you. Hang on. Thank you can you. just you can participate, Karen, and just your just your demeanor. You have to get a piece of cardboard, Karen, hey, and start cardboard. drawing and coloring it in. <laughs> Draw it on. <laughs> get a paper plate. Hold it behind your head. Oh, uh, with you. <laughs> Go so I can see your whole bit. There we go. I got it. There we go. There oh. we go. 
Uh, of Thank course, you. that ruins our team name, but anyways, there we go. Well, oh, we're failures. <laughs> That's okay. We tried. Oh, I have to uh, do this. We need a tutorial. This is the, if you guys have not already looked at the article that I wrote about y'all, you have to do I, that. And one of the I things did. that's on I here, it. it talks about how one of my goals was, is to get you guys to learn how to do, be experts at Zoom. <laughs> that's uh, that's our team name for number We're one. Yeah. <laughs> We're experts at Zoom. No. Uh, Richard, Richard's got it right. Excellent. We're experts in where's Zoom your background? Of mm -hmm. expert. And we're down here. Is that Kermy? Do I see Kermy? Kermy playing banjo. Yeah. Uh, it's the opposite of a green <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, there it is. There's the article for. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bunch of garbage in there. Just ignore all that other garbage, but the uh -huh. it's down at the bottom. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, the very bottom is very good, Richard. That was that was very entertaining. Whatever you do, I missed it. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video. He, he invited he Kermy. Kermy. Kermy was here. Uh, was he really? Yeah. Okay. So that's the old man. Man. that's our team name. Fun of people. Oh, that is very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Statler, Waldorf, and Vincent, eh? That's very cute. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. So the it. first team is. What is that? Statler? Statler, Waldorf, and Vincent, eh? Hey. <laughs> that in reference to some Canadian thing. That's the old guys on the Muppet the old... Show. Oh, yeah. that's the guys up in the balcony Wolver. complaining mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. I love that oh, in the first oh, picture oh, of you us. Guys, Susan. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I've got a surprise oh. for you. Oh, who is it? <gasps> yeah, Mono. I saw it already. Oh. Welcome. Yay! Welcome on. Where'd he go? Uh oh, he's gone. I don't think he'll know he what we're scared. doing. That's okay. <laughs> nobody say anything. Okay, he's trying back. Yeah, nobody say a thing. Well, he can't join because he's playing mono rules, and he just saw Ooh. himself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. Is he here? I just admitted Caspian. Oh, Cass is here? Mm hmm Yeah. It's a race. Who's going to get her first? Mono's here! Hey, Mono! Hi. Welcome back. Hi, back. Hi. 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 It's so good to see you. Hi. We were just talking about how uh, we saw you at a party on uh, at Halloween and how we were trying, we were telling you that we were still playing with mono rules and you looked at us like we're nuts. <laughs> we are nuts. That's kind of typical. Very good. Good to have you back. Caspian, are you here? Yes. <laughs> well, nice He's to have you here. Is it just you by yourself or is Jamie with you? Just me. All right. Well, we get Caspian's black screen with his name across it again. Cass, you know you're okay. All right, so I'm ready. Let's get started with this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We had to do our get our things started. Okay. So we know the first round. First, first team is Kevin, Leonard, Ron, Vincent, and Paula. Your team name is Stratter, Waldorf, and Vincent. A eh? Statler. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he doesn't. You know she off. likes to stick R's in where they don't belong. Come on, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes well, because if you change Stadler to Stradler, it makes it sound like. Then you have to change Waldorf to Waldorf. 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 Okay, here comes Robin. Where am I going to put Robin? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, one, two, three. This is the Maybe first Susan. time we've been so big. Maybe Susan is a secret people here. pirate. A pirate. She's putting in hers. Oh. 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 Uh, okay, no problem, Mono. All right, so here we go. Team number two, Bob, Faith, and Romero, Kyle, Mike, Wolf, and Rob. 
We are translunar trans injection. Yeah, but you have to say injection. Injection. <laughs> translunar <laughs> injection. Okay, got it. No problem. Number team number three, who shall be named known as team number three, unless they come up with something clever. Gail, Jamie, Jeff, Lynn, and Paul, Peggy, and Wendy. Uh we are Elon Musk meet Dunning Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's great. I like that. Oh, that's too funny. All right. Team number four. Cindy, Janine, Jim, Saunders, and Caspian. Janine? Yes. yes. You put in chat. Oh, just the fall guys got lost in the Winchester house looking for a black hole. <laughs> okay. All into. Who's the fall guys? Am I supposed to know who that is? Richard is the fall guy. And Cindy is the Winchester house. And Jim is the black hole. And I just went along for the ride. Because that's okay. what I do. I have no idea. <laughs> I All right, I don't know if I want to know. That might be a little TMI there, guys. All right, Brandy, Carolyn, Jane, Carl, Karen, Ben, and Mono. Big teams tonight. I know. Our comeback starts right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's everybody getting this background? Um, <laughs> in the chat if, if you scroll up in the chat, the chat again. yeah oh, that's right she can't yeah. let's out 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 someone that's put it on there already out. rob Muppet. just put it back in the Thanks, chat rob. my cat wanted out all right very good so here's what we have tonight we've got boy i haven't seen this many people in ages 31 people plus on here because we've got two people on some teams this is great we'll compensate for all the no shows wow. next week no, uh, we're gonna we're probably gonna have 60 people here next week. What are you talking about? So here's Easter what the team Christmas. is. Yeah, that too. So we have November 17th, 2022, game number 134, season number three. Would you believe we played 134 games? I find that hard to believe. I think somebody needs to do a recount. And we have episode 25 of year three. I can't believe it. It's incredible. We're over 5,000 questions and probably getting closer to 6,000 questions. Would you believe now. 64 games? <laughs> Would you believe a robot and a... <laughs> um, so the, the team names tonight are Stradler, yeah. Waldorf, and Vincent A versus yeah. Translunar Injection versus Elon Musk meet Dunning-Kruger versus... The Fall Guys got lost in the Winchester house looking for a black hole versus our comeback starts right now. Oh, and Adrian's on her way over here too. So, man. So, uh, so, so if somebody did a Get Smart themed uh, uh, series of questions, it sounds like uh, uh, there, uh, people would get most of them. <laughs> uh, maybe. We did it once before. But there's always room for innovative repeating. Innovative. Okay, so the team leaders tonight, tonight, my unconventional conventionalist. Nobody ever gets that reference, but all right. So we've got Vincent starting off. You do know your first, right? I get it. I get it. Karen gets it. There's one. I don't Karen get it. All, she knows all that stuff. You don't get it? No. Oh, okay. Probably a, I'm guessing it's a movie reference. It's Rocky Horror. Yes. Oh, okay. Mike Wolf. You know that you're second, right? I've seen I've seen Rocky Horror a number of times. I don't remember that line. Peggy, Peggy, my dear, you're third. Yeah. Caspian, you're fourth. Karen, you bonus girl. You're the bonus. <laughs> All right, and our troll catcher and and person who lets people in and all that other stuff is going to be Ron tonight. Oh, I get it, Steiner. Oh, 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 wait. What? No, Straddler. Never mind. Statler. <laughs> Statler. If you say Straddler, it means something else. Straddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I learned stuff. I saw the last name Steiner, and I thought, oh, that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense anymore. Now. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Just ignore me. Cut that part out of the video. 
So are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. I'm excited. November 17, mm -hmm. 2022, game number 134. Vincent, it is all yours. Okay. Okay. Ready for muting? No, he's got to say something, the name the team names, what the title is, and then we groan. <laughs> Go for it, Vincent. Uh, oh, I'm. I thought he was going to mute everybody. No, no. I have to be grown after whatever you say. <laughs> oh, um, it's going to be first. First, that's okay. the that's the um, category name, except for number one. Okay, <gasps> go ahead, Ron. Okay, everyone ready? Seven, three, nine, mute. Hey, I'm going to um, copy and paste, and then I'll name all the questions. First, except for number one. Um, and enter. All right. Uh, oh, sorry about pasting it, but oh well. You guys will get it. Um, number one, what is the longest running Broadway show? Number two, what was the first country to give women the right to vote? Number three, who was the world's first cloned animal, a sheep named after in 1996? Number four, what U.S. fast food chain is credited with introducing the first drive through window to the masses? Number five, who sang the first recorded version of Strange Fruit, a classic haunting protest song against racism and violence against African Americans. Number six, who was the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Number seven, what was the first feature length animated movie ever released? Number eight, what movie is Alan Rickman's first film credit? Number nine, which country is known to have the first oldest printed book? And I put book in quotation marks because it's not exactly a book, but close. Number 10, although not the first video game, it was the first most popular video game so everybody got that question question one is it what is the longest running broadway show now or ever ever okay forever and ever is that good everybody's this looks good? Really good these look definitely because good. if you're out if it's not good too bad i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna no i'm kidding no Wonderful. It's a good way to start out. And guess what, Vincent? You're first. Did it? Yes. <laughs> first, <laughs> and I'm first. Yeah. Jane says, I got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I scare myself some days. Okay. Yeah. Deborah's trying to get over here to her team, but she's got to restart her computer again. So, oh, okay. Whoever, is, whoever has Deborah just. She'll be here. My okay. is about you'll, to be booked, you'll so handle I'll that, right? Five minutes. All right. Yeah, we'll see, you, Kevin. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna open all rooms. Uh oh. Oh, I've got to put people on people. Oh, I forgot. I've got to put some people on teams. Okay, so Ben, you are on team five. Yes. Caspian, you're on team four. 
Hey, hey. You're on one. Karen, you are on five. Mono, you are on five. Robin, you are on one. I had work to do and I was not doing my work. Yes, I guess he is. I am going to go from room to room, yes, because if I don't, I'm going to get in trouble from Susan. So yes, yes, you need to go and spy out the the landscape. I will, and Robin's just enjoying herself. So she's still doing the Muppet song because I am too. Yeah. <laughs> These are good questions. These are good questions. Okay. By the way, you're you're muted, uh, Robin. That's probably for the best. <laughs> she's going to get her fiddle out in a minute definitely for the best. <laughs> okay <laughs> number one i think is cats as far as i know nobody's... i think it's phantom of the opera you phantom think phantom's opera. beating cats yeah i think it's phantom yeah, would know. i think i've heard that all right robin is into her broadway shows yeah, it was cats so for a category long time, broadway but... shows too um i i want to do a category on broadway i thought shows. you did one uh i might have <laughs> I have, I'm, I'm brewing up another one though. Ooh. Okay, the first country to give women the right to vote, I would assume it's Britain, but I don't know. I believe I it's, it's New Zealand. I believe it's Finland. I believe it's New Zealand. Ooh, Ooh we have a fight. Fight, fight, fight. fight. <laughs> oh, I get to play Karen. How will we choose? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to the other ones next then. Okay. Who was so the first clone animal? animal? This is Dolly Parton, obviously. That's Dolly yeah. Parton, yeah. I've seen this sheep in some museum somewhere, and I think in Australia. Okay, what fast food, U.S. fast food chain is credited with introducing the first drive through window to the masses? Is this a Catholic church in the Vatican? <laughs> so you get your... Uh, God, nobody knows. You I, I'm just, uh, the humor is just for me. I'm going to assume it's not one of the big ones that we've heard of. Told you. I was going to say us. McDonald's just because it's the first. Hope, Hope Mobile. I remember watching the movie for McDonald's, the history of McDonald's, and they had a drive through. Not a, no, it wasn't a drive through. It was like you pull up and then they put the food on your. Yeah. On the car. And I don't think they went to drive through for a while. Yeah, because it used to be the ones where they'd have the people in, ro the, in roller skates coming out there and delivering the food. But right. exactly. I thought McDonald's was the first one that had the drive through idea, but who knows? Don't know. Okay, who okay. sang the first recorded version of Strange Fruit, a classic haunting protest song against racism and violence against African Americans? I have no idea what that is. The only name that I know that sang this was Billie Holiday. You, you, have you, you're not familiar with the song, Susan? Can I'm not either. The fruit, the fruit refers to lynched people hanging in trees. Ah. Oh, oh! Um, you would you would recognize you would recognize the song if you hear it, if you heard the song. But I, I yeah, I'll vote for Billie Holiday. I, I know the song. That's the only name I have associated with it. I don't know if yeah. there was something before her. Yeah, here comes Ellen. <clears throat> Let's bring him in here. You think he's only going to stay for a while? Who? Alan, your brother. Yeah, he, he said that he's he's got some stuff with his wife he's got to do for a show she's putting on tomorrow. Okay, so we'll bring him in here. He can hang out with us for a little bit. Is he still First in his car? woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's a tough one. <laughs> hey, Frere, you're muted. What did you call him? Frere. Frere? Frere. Bro. He's my, my yeah, Frere. I'm with, I'm with my little brother. Hello, Hi, Alan. How are you? Is that, is that some sort of like like French. Steiner reference? Frere? Or it's is French. French. French for brother. French for brother. We're, we're, we're oh, Canadian. Like we're, speak we're, French. Bilingu we're bilingual. Oh, we're yeah. that hotbed of, of Frenchness. We're Canadians, man. Oh, Canadians. Canadians take French in school. We take oh. Spanish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here comes but, animal. Je pas animal? Pas Hi, Leonard. So many animals. Happy, uh, happy, happy birthday uh, the other day. Thank you. 
Let me go over and see who this person is because I have no idea who Animal is. I will be right back. So, uh, an, an, if, if I'm not back is, right away, please send, um, you know. An, yes, animal, animal is, uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Who? From, from Boston. Kevin? Kevin. Oh. Oh, he's got himself a Muppet. His Muppet name is Animal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. he's so, such a smart. Uh, so I have a question. What are we doing right now? Well, we're doing questions. We're doing the, who was the, the first chat. woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall? We well, can't thing. see the chat because he just got here. Kevin and Kevin and Alan can't see it. No. Uh, Animal will know the answer to this question. What's uh, what, yeah. which one we on? Sorry, who was animal. the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Story. Aretha Franklin. That's what I was thinking. Oh, good. Oh, no, I, what about? No, I was thinking of something like uh, one of those country uh, um, from the fifties. The uh, um, like Mabes, oh, Ma Mabes. No, Bowie no, no. Like that. Oh, uh, Patsy Klein. That's Patsy Klein or something like that. Is who I. No, would but think. it's Aretha Franklin though. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't see Patsy Klein. And is she in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I don't think so. I doubt she I is. She'd be in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, but Dolly Parton was just put in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so they, and they, and she the was Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was really three. kind of messed up. She was already the number number three anyway, so <laughs> she was a sheep. Okay, so For number seven, I'm pretty sure is Snow White. Okay. Yes. Do you have the? Do you have the? Um, Somebody the, uh, read the questions to Alan and. Yeah. What was the first feature length animated movie ever released? Was Steamboat Willie a full length one or was no, it a short? It was a short. No. Yeah, it was short. a short. It, it was, was short. just a short. Okay. So Snow White? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That was my second guess of after Dolly so Parton. We have all the answers yeah. already? No. no. Uh, oh. Read them out for him. Okay. Next one is what Alan movie Rick is Alan Rickman's first film credit? I know, I know this it's one. not Die Hard, but that's the first one I know of. That is yeah. the answer. Die Hard. <laughs> okay. It is Die Hard? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you sure? That's like a big well, I'm not 100% sure, but I know that's before he did any of the other stuff. But I mean, he might have done stuff in the UK before that because that's a, like an American film. Yeah, yeah, there's a possibility. It's still the first one I can think of. I know I don't think it might be, I don't think it is, but that's the first one I think of. I, I think it's, I think it's correct, but I don't know what would be for it. Yeah, it's great jumping around to all these rooms because <laughs> the one room is like pretty much has almost all the questions right well, we have any we just we had people just join us right now so we're still going down the questions. Is that karen's room <laughs> no. okay so number nine is which country is known to have the first oldest printed book in quotes and germany I, no. I was going to say Germany, but the fact that, that right. Vincent put book in quotes, quotes. I'm thinking it's the Domesday book, which would mean it'd be England. Because that was out before. Hmm. Wait, what's the full what's the full question again? Which country is known to have the first oldest, and I don't know why we need both, printed book, and book is in quotes. Oh, cause, yeah, because it's not printing press, it's just printed. Right. Now, what about what about some one of these um, ancients? The um, the um, pre. Those, those, yeah, like, those, I don't know if those were printed. Uh, like uh, uh, Alexandria uh, in Egypt or something in Egypt. Were they still on scrolls? Yeah, I didn't think those were. Books. But they're still called books, are they? Yeah. No. But are, I mean, and the question is, would they be considered printed books? Oh, yeah, scrolls sure what... wouldn't have been printed. They would have been just maybe copied. That's true. The Domesday book was not printed. It was all, it was handwritten. This is why I keep going. Then I go back to what Alan said, which is Germany and the Gutenberg Bible, but. I think it's Germany. Those Germans. Well, Germany didn't exist then. Well, whatever the country is, is. <laughs> call, uh, call, uh, call Avi. Okay, number two, question 10. Although not the first video game, it was the first most popular video game. I, I assume that's Pong. Pong. 
Pong. Pong. Yeah. Oh, we're in agreement. Good. And we missed well, number. It was the only two. one I could play. It was the only one I could play. <laughs> and not Still, very right? well, if I Still, remember. Alan, the only one. Did I, we I make a decision about the nine? Third version of Pong. <laughs> At nine, I think we said Germany. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we still got number two because we had a difference of opinion. What okay, was so the first country to give women the right to vote? And so far we, we had Finland and... Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand, it's between New Zealand and Finland, right? That's it. Those were the two that have been suggested. New Zealand is so, is always the first in everything because it's way over there and it's like... That's where the sun rises, even though it doesn't really rise, but you know what I mean? Their, their time zone. Their I, I feel like I've heard that name. And I think one of the reasons why it might've been is like when the uh, United States, even though we didn't have universal women's suffrage till 1920, there were states that had gave women the white vote because there were so few women in them. And they were so vital to, you know, like in the Western states. Oh, Wyoming and stuff, you mean? Like yeah, and they had, they, they had like local votes before it was federally. So I'm wondering if something is similar happened in New Zealand. Uh, I wouldn't think, you know, back in the 1950s, New Zealand and Australia were kind of primitive in terms of women's rights. Like, you know, the women didn't. The 1950s, you mean? The 1950s. Like women didn't go to the pub. Well, this, is, this is long, long, uh, well, well, before well the, before that. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying if they, if, the, if they were still back in the dark ages in the 50s, they weren't back in the dark ages when women got the right to vote i don't think they were never i don't think they were ever in the dark ages. hey we're in the dark ages now and it's what the the the, the uh i know i think it i well that's just I, because I'm fine you're, with you're too or far the, north new zealand yeah that's it i'm fine with either we're, i'm fine with either also okay what's the other questions we don't have that's Number that's four. all of them well the the drive through Oh, that's true. We said McDonald's, but nobody was no, exactly the jumping up. One, you, the drive-through one is just Jack in the Box. Is, is it? That old? Is it that I'm old? I'm pretty sure they invented it. Oh, okay. Okay, that well, works. They had the Jack, the clown used to talk to. Oh, okay. Well, well, that, that makes sense. sense. That makes I'll sense. with that. Okay. Never, okay. Order the, what never been like to one. A, so. a and, what about A and W or something like that? Yeah, but they they had girls on roller skates that would come to right. the car. It wasn't yeah, I don't think they even have uh, drive-throughs now. What are we putting for two? New Zealand is what I heard. Is that what we agreed on? Well, there's New Zealand and Finland. Yeah. I vote for Finland. I also vote for Finland. Okay. I, I like Robin's description of it. If they were backwards like, in I, 1950, that doesn't make them progressive earlier. Well, Finland think, was Which could be wrong, wrong but... Part of, it, part of the Russian Empire. I, I take the fifth. <laughs> I'll, I'll say Finland. I'll drink they're just fifth. so progressive. Even though so are the key. No, they're, they're progressive now. They used to be part of the Russian Empire. Oh, oh so you about the Russian guys. Now you're throwing, now, now you're making <laughs> a good argument against it. <laughs> okay. Wait, who, talking, who was? Finland? Okay, let's, let's, let's pick let's, Japan. Let's vote. <laughs> let's vote. All right. All of you who say Finland, raise your hand. My, okay. Mine is up. Mine is up. <laughs> so it's just Paula who says New Zealand. Okay. It, right, it better not. Paul, be. Paul, you can get all self righteous if we lose this one. Right, so the answer is probably Great Britain. <laughs> That's what I said. For I just want to put on record, I did say Great Britain. <laughs> just saying, but I don't really know. I know it was one. Of, I know it beat America. That's all I know. Yeah, but that's not saying. But much. not by long. It all happened like in the same. Yeah, same. Time it's probably time Vatican City. Who are we saying that sang that song, <laughs> "Strange Fruit"? Billy Holiday. Billie Holiday? Billie Holiday. Okay. All right. We got everything. So ready to go back? Oh, Adrian's here. So let's all go back. Say hi to Adrian. Who who is uh, um, hey, hey. officially keeping our score? I, I've got I've I got have a list. it. I have it. I got, right. Okay. Robin's good. got it. Okay. Great job, team. Yay. Oh. <laughs> what? I was trying to leave the room. What's like question number three and four? I think I missed those. Three is Dolly Parton. But she built that house the way she built it. The, the, right. the rooms for so the people who died. When you say when you say that's but, what Sarah believed, yes. Where are you getting that information? That's the information. That's the information that the people who 
run the tours of the house half. Yes. Plus, it's also yes. information they're using in this movie that's based on fact and fiction. It's a fictional account um, of the Winchester house that stars Helen Murray. Deborah and Adrian have just joined us. Uh huh. I'll see where I put them in a minute. Let's call everybody back. Yeah. Okay. I had really, I had really heard about the Winchester House until I heard Brian Dunning's uh, Skeptoid episode on it, which, as I recall it, says that most of what you were told on that tour was false. Yep. I helped Adrian. Uh, I didn't help Adrian, but I read. Adrian's work over and over and over, and we discussed a lot of it because we've been there. Richard's been there. I took him. I've been there. I've been there with you. Mm -hmm. We went together. We I, had a great, um, you we and had I. A great day. I want to go back. We had a great day. I didn't call people back. Was it you that called people I back? Did it. Oh, me. okay. My fault. Right. We, were, we were wondering where everybody was. Yeah. Call uh, people out. Where? Are, come on. Come back. Come I back. think. I think most people were close to being done anyway so there might so be, i was done <laughs> well there might be a few people who might ask for extra time i don't know too bad so sad <laughs> okay it's almost 7 20. Yeah. <laughs> susan is so generous today well yeah. you know what happened is uh, team one which is what the one i was on we kept people kept trying to join because they kept like you know oh so-and-so showed up and they're supposed to be on this team so it was kind of like well, read that question again. So it took us a while, but so I think our team took a while because of that. But if there. we were done. I, so I think sure. there's I think there's one team that got 10 out of 10. Only one? Only one, yeah. Wait, I want to say I'm saying hello to Mano. Wow, it's been a while. Wow. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel. Holy, <laughs> holy, holy, holy. Okay. Oh, 30, 34 participants. Wow. I know. And Adrian's starting. And there's a couple more people on the screen that are duplicates in there. I mean, you know, Brandy's, Brandy's trying to look taller. And now we all know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when we saw Brandy in Vegas, people were like, I thought you were too tall. <laughs> and when they met Adrian, they're like, I didn't know you were so tall. <laughs> we're all the same height on Zoom, except for Paula. <laughs> and Paula, and Paula can barely short. see over the screen. Yeah. No, I she's not old. I don't know how she drives. I know. <laughs> she uses a phone booth. A phone booth. Phone booth. To uh, move things along quickly, <laughs> I'm gonna post the or paste the uh, answers. Okay, but read them out. And then I will say them. Okay, so go take for it. it. So number one, most people got this. It was the Phantom of the Opera. Oh yes. And somebody went very far back, <gasps> uh, but uh, number two. But actually, it was New Zealand. That's what Paula. we had, except we spelled it differently. We apologize, Paula. Paula, Paula said New Zealand. And <laughs> She's we the apologize. only one, yeah. and we voted her on her. Oh, yeah, Paula. I noticed that, and it's like, damn, I wish I could say something because I <laughs> did. But um, just ignore that. Um, number three, uh, it was named after Dolly Parton. There was a few people that got I, didn't, that. I didn't think it was, but my team was right. So, thank yeah, you, team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's in Australia. Uh, Dolly's, uh, um, Dolly's in Australia, right? Richard, I think, in Melbourne. Oh, someplace. what, Dolly Parton? No, the, the <laughs> sheep. The sheep. I the sheep saw it. No, it was in Britain. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it somewhere. I have a photo, but I've been to Britain and Australia both in the same year. So, <laughs> I think it might be. Yeah, you're right. It might be yeah. somewhere in England. And people that said McDonald's, they were wrong. Yes. It was actually in and out burger. <gasps> Get up. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's uh Jack in the Box though. Good job, team. No. no I didn't think that was that old. I thought there would be something that would have been older than that. Yeah. You know, they were pro right. there were probably restaurants that were older than that, but oh, in and out burger was the only one that was um uh 
White Castle uh, vote, but it didn't have yeah. a takeout window. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to uh, to to come sure. up with a with a uh, series of questions that are yeah, the are what was the second X? <laughs> I think we've done that. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> haven't we? Well, so, just stop. Yeah, so I had a category called Jim's raising his hand. <laughs> Number five category. was uh, Billy Holiday. Most Yay. people know that. Okay. Good job, Paul. Yeah. Uh, number six, this is a few people that missed that one, but it was Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Aretha, Aretha Franklin? Aretha. Aretha. And there were some arguments about number seven, but the ones that came up with Snow White and the Seven Doors, they were correct. Yay. Yay. Of Yay. Hi, Debra, she finally joined us. Of course, it would be seven doors for number seven. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't notice that. I just picked oh, that up. Oh, that's a good pun. We're yeah, it is. Should take advantage of that. That's good. Um, Alan Rickman's first film credit was Die Hard. So. No. Oh my God. I thought yeah. there would be something before that. Luckily, we uh, that was yeah. the first one we could all remember yeah. anyway. Oh, it was <laughs> Die Hard. Uh, a few people um, got this one, which country is the oldest printed book, and I'm not saying printed like press printed, was China. Ooh. Yeah. But, uh, a lot of us for a loop. What was the book? Yeah. Um, it was a menu. It was, it was a, a menu. book. Ooh. It was in Chinese. Nobody knows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, was, it, was, it was a menu for takeout. It was a menu. It's a two, two columns, <laughs> column A and column B. I think it might have been I, I Ching. I think uh, it might have been I Ching. Yeah, yeah we had. A, I think what, we had that what, in the trivia category. What, what does it yeah. mean by in quotation mark printed? If it, you know, it wasn't Gutenberg Press, so how was it printed that it was called printed? What block? It was because, it, yeah, Jim's got it. Okay. It was the block. Wood block. Um, okay. Yeah. Car, car wooden blocks. Yeah. Okay. And uh, number ten, most people got this. It was pong. Yay! Uh, oh, it, no. wasn't the fir it wasn't the first game that came out. It was the first commercially successful one. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never heard of it. Back then. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Alan says it's the only game he ever learned to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That All was right. terrific. Those are great questions to start off with, Vincent. Great. Oh, questions. thank you. I was racking my brain on to like what to pick and everything. No, that was great. And and so, it was even better that you went first tonight. So the interesting now, thing now is you can go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Ten wrong because the first. original video game is yeah. like was rebranded as Pong, like when it was actually it? came out for people. But like it yeah. was called Tennis for Two. But, yeah, yeah, but it was the, no, it, it is was pong. basically pong. It Don't was, all right, you nerds, come on now. <laughs> yeah, we got thrown off by the fact that it said although not the first game. All right, yeah. here we go. Nerd on. Wars. So let's start with our comeback starts right now. Let's see how their comeback is. Did you come back? Come back. Ten. And oh, I'll just give you this big fat zero. All right. <laughs> Put a one the, in front of it. The fall guys go, got lost in the Winchester house looking for a black hole. Eight. Ah, wow. Okie dokie. And Elon Musk meet Dunning Kruger. Five. What? What? Oh, you didn't come oh, after Elon Musk. Musk. We talked ourselves out of three different. Yes, we, we oversaw it. We oversaw everything. Darn it. All right, never trans never lunar in this group that never happened. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> trans lunar injection. Eight. Eight. Very, very nicely said, Susan. Gracias. I don't speak French, but I do speak Spanish. Okay. <laughs> Statler, Waldorf, Solid, and Vincent. A. Eh. This is this is Vincent's team. So it was seven, wasn't it? Seven, yeah, we, yeah. Okay, seven. right out in the middle. Well, well that, all right. Elon Musk meet Dunning Kruger is going to get Adrian, and 
Kevin Leonard, Ron, okay, Stradler, Valdor, and Vince are going to get Deborah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Stradler, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, what's the significance of the uh, the archways here? I, I, Muppet it's show. from the Muppet Show. There is show. no significance. Right. Why don't we? It get was a total started? coincidence, Al. They all just they shut up with the same, the same thing. They just all just happen to show up. This isn't. Them. This isn't going to work, but we can try it. Everybody, lean to your right. Right. Yeah. To your right. And then, yeah. Oh, and then, to my right. How can you to lean to your left? And to the left. We just like that. nerds do on Thursday night. Everybody get a trumpet. Okay, kazoo. It was a kazoo. All right, Mike Wolf is up next. What you got for us tonight, Mike? All right, I've got another one of these dumb piles breaking out the trumpet. <laughs> different actors, there you go. same role. <laughs> different actors, same role. So I'll put into the. Uh... Hmm. All right, where did we go? Where's my? Okay, time time for a uh, mutation. Wait, same role, right? Right. Different actors, oh. same roles. This is, I think, the last one of these because I pretty much scraping. <gasps> that means it's even harder. Can you explain it? Oh, you got it in the chat, right? Okay, okay to the chat. These actors all portray the same character in different iterations. Projects may be feature films or TV. In some cases, noted the character has been renamed in some versions. And name the character, although some sometimes I'll say just name the IP, which is the book or movie series, because it's the character is too obscure. But if you can name, if it's like a remake of the same movie, just name the movie. Some of these are fictional characters, others are real life ish characters. Not every version of the character is included. Okay, and. All right, time to mutate. Number one. Gotta unmute, Mike. Okay, number one. Gerard Philippe, John Malkovich, Colin First. Firth and Ryan Philippe with a different name. For this one, the name of the IP will be accepted. Here's a hint. There is a new version of this that premiered last week. Too much help. Number two, Spencer Tracy, Leon Ames, Steve Martin, and Andy Garcia. All you need to do is name the IP, name the uh, what was being remade here several times. Because I doubt anyone will get the uh, actual name of the character. What does IP stand for? Inter intellectual property. It's a it's a internet-y way to say book, movie, TV show, or something else. It's an internet it's protocol way of saying it. It also means I, that. I took a whole semester of law school on IP. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I would know what it meant. But you didn't call okay. it IP, did you? So it's... Oh, so yeah. It's not, it's, yeah we didn't say you passed the class. <laughs> <laughs> She's was, playing was Candy that, Crush in the back. Was that oh, the I night see. school? Name the character or the movie, etc. Yeah, she's playing Candy Crush. Look at that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Number three. My eye is on you, Robin. I see you. Matt Smith, Tobias Menzies, Jonathan Price. There's that one's a slightly as a no as one a, will get that. No one will get it. It's Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Number four, Lawrence Olivier, Liam Neeson, Sean Bean, and Russell Crowe. Number five, this is another one with his just name, the IP. And this one, there's two characters in this, in this thing. So I'm giving you three pairs of characters that are like, so they're not all the same character. There's three pairs of characters. So Steve Forrest and Robert Urich were in the first version of this. 
Samuel Jackson and Colin Farrell were in the second version, and Shamar Moore and Alex Russell were in the third version. Number six, Vincent Price, Charlton Heston, and Will Smith. These are three movies based on a novel named the original novel, because all the movies have different names. Number seven, oh, wait. Keanu Reeves, Matt Ryan, and Jenna Coleman. The Jenna Coleman version had a slightly different name. As is, she's a lady and the other two are dudes. Dudes. Number eight, Edward Woodward, Denzel Washington, Queen Latifah. Also just name the IP because they have slightly different names. Number nine, Richard Harris, Graham Chapman, Sean Connery, Clive Owen, and Charlie Hunnam. And number 10, Ronald Coleman, Gary Cooper, Guy Stockwell, and for the last one, this is the last one of these, Michael York. Also a little tricky thing and a little fun thing in that. So for which of these that the thing is actually to name the IP, but you didn't write it in it, is it? Okay, Besides, you know what? You said it for eight, but I'm not sure if there were any others. So okay, like um, for number IP for, let's see. Two, five, eight. Yeah, you have it in some of these. Two, five, and, and also eight. one. Okay. Oh, and one. Okay. Yeah, name of IP accepted. Oh, and six is sort of that because you don't want the name of the individual. Yeah. Ugh, okay. So pretty All much right. if you can name any of those, we will accept it. Any of the movie versions. These should be really hard. Oh, wait, for number six you're talking about? Yes, if you can name any of the movies. Woohoo, three points. Thank you. You get you get the Do I get, do I get three points for knowing all three of those? No. no. Damn. Damn. All right, Sinister so Rooms. Only ones I know. Okay. And you get a point taken away for asking that question. Damn. Yeah, for reals. Take his points. <laughs> for reals? Susan, is that a Muppet hat? No, it's an owl hat. I'm smarter with an owl hat on. It's a it's a bird Ooh. brain. That's what it is. I need to be Ooh. smarter. Ooh. Where's your Muppet background, Susan? I, I, to... I blend and do all weird things whenever my uh, background. Of there's us. a problem, Susan. Susan. Hmm? Susan, there's a problem. They're putting me in room. I'm being put in room two. Okay, I'll fix oh. that. Hey. Uh, Adrian, you need to go into. I'm in the Dunning Kruger, I think. Yeah, you're in three. Hey, Vincent. Uh, Vincent. Hi. You're going to. I actually on. did the questions properly That's this time. So, oh, is you that like really you did a great job. job. Yeah. I just came yeah. at the end. I wish I'd uh, seen the whole thing. You can oh. watch on. You can watch on YouTube. I, like, I can watch on YouTube. I like your hat, Susan. Thank you very much. I'm smart now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Vincent. You should be in room one. Well, I guess so. I'm going to my room. Have fun, Mike. Okay. What? Team Father. Wait, that's Father of the Bride. Okay. Is that Spencer one? Tracy and Steve Martin both played it. I can't vouch for the other one. I think but... Andy Garcia did too in the reason. Yeah, I think I think that's it then. Would you guys have I for one? We ha don't have anything for one. We don't have one yet. We're gonna get the ones we know and then we'll number three. Them. Tobias Minzy and Jonathan Price. What? Who are they? So is is this is this Prince Philip? That's what I'm guessing. It Number three, yeah, Matt Smith. Yeah, Matt Smith played him in that 
Sue Crown. And, he did. and Sue this, Crown. this would make sense because they're on the there third were three. There were three people. That's right. There's been only three actors. That's what I'm thought. thinking. That's what I'm Wow, thinking. you guys are clever. I've no, I have no John, idea. Who yeah, people are. yeah, Matt. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I haven't watched um, six yet. So my. No, it's not. No, six is not out yet. Six Five's is out. out. Six came out on the ninth. What? Five's out. Well, it is out. All. Are you sure? I am totally fucking positive because Netflix is like, you should watch The Crown. And it's I like, thought I just looked this up and they said watch it the was. Crown, but I'll get there. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Wait, How wait. are we doing here? You guys Five know is the one these, that's right? out, I thought, right? The one where it's divorced and all right. that? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, this uh, is this is the season where they're getting a divorce and Windsor catches on fire and, and Melba Swinton. <gasps> that's is, five. Uh, Sorry, that's five. I no, just finished it. Six. No, that's no, season no, six. No, the crown right. season okay, six. Whichever is the newest one that just five, five, yeah, that's out. Five. five. Whichever. Our focus to see if we know these answers. Is four is that Shakespeare? What Shakespeare? which Shakespeare? Could it be Number could four. it be Macbeth? But it's gotta be a specific, it just can't be Shakespeare. Well, I know Why, I'm couldn't just they all have played Shakespeare? I'm no, I'm saying a something by Shakespeare. I, and shorthanding. It's not you Macbeth. Think it's a Shakespearean role, in other words, Macbeth or very fitting. Hamlet. Oh, no idea. Okay. Could it oh, be King sorry. Lear? Could, yeah. Could it be? Olivier played King Lear. Yeah, I don't know. These would be movies, right? He's not, he's stage, stage productions don't, don't count in this. Uh, feature film or TV, he said. They may okay, be yeah. feature film or TV, but. Yeah. Okay, well. All right, let's. Well, it, by, I don't by, think my L hat is helping at all. I don't feel. Let's, okay. let's well, jump but, ahead. Go to five and see if anybody's got. The, Robert Ulrich, Samuel Jackson, Colin, no idea. Well, they're in pairs, right? Right. Samuel Jackson and Colin Farrell. No freaking idea. Black what guy movie? with a white guy. Yeah. What would happen? White chicks. It's not white chicks. It's a totally different set of dudes. Those are two black guys. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, white guy with a black? Guy? Steve Farris. Because Samuel Jackson guy? is black. And I know Colin that one. Farrell is white. Shamar Steve, Moore is Steve Farris is a black guy. I didn't know that. Okay. That's what my guess is. Uh, so, do you ever? Is it Wizard of Oz? No, could it be a cop movie? Well, there was one where the they the black guy and a white guy were chained together. They were on the run. Or Brother Faratha? No, that that involved um George Clooney. That was different, and they sang. Mm -hmm. Twelve Years a Slave. They might sing. Could it, no, Twelve Years a Slave hasn't hasn't had three different reiterations. And Samuel Jackson. Godfrey Park. Godfrey Park. It's Russell. No idea. Yeah. They all play Sherlock Holmes. Django and Chain. All right. Let's go to seven. Anybody clicking with that one? <laughs> I have a feeling Romero is just as uh, I've got. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Constantine. Constantine. Like Queen. Oh. They were in Queen. That's it. What was what? seven? Six? Well, that Constantine. Was, he won, constant, well, he wants the IP because it said that? That, Constantine. No. It, no it, okay. Because it's the same. Okay. So, uh, um, Keanu, yes. Keanu Reeves was constant. He made they made a Constantine movie. Wow. The other guy, there was a brief um, television series. The British pronounce the, the British pronunciation okay. is Constantine. It's a Roger Moore character. When they did Sandman, they didn't have the rights to use John Constantine, so they brought in Jenna Coleman, called her Joanna Constantine. Oh wow. Who, which was the name of an ancestor of John Constantine. Okay. okay. Wait, what is the show? I have no idea. Is it a cop he drama? Basically no. Vanishes, no, a he vanishes. It's demon. a movie, a TV series based on a graphic novel, and then Sandman, which was based on a series of graphic novels. Okay, so he actually he made goes, a He goes and hunts and vanishes right. demons. So, 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 so let's, let's, let's go to the next one. We got this one. But I got to tell you, he made a mistake there because I asked him specifically for IPs and he did not mention seven as an IP. So that's well, concerning. it's three different things though. So well, it's, that, it's that just would like be constant time. No, he did. He did. He said one, two, six, and seven, or whichever one it was. No, eight. It was eight. I did eight. not have okay. seven. Yeah. 
Okay. So yeah, well, this, eight. if you say Constantine, either John or Joanna, John okay. slash Joanna, but it fills the, they had to change gender because they didn't have right. Yeah, I understand, in which case it should right. be IP, but go ahead. Number okay. eight. Okay. I have no idea what Denzel and Queen Latifah shared. Uh, God, God. So Denzel mm -hmm. Washington mm -hmm. played God. Queen well, Latifah yeah. may have done that in some role. When did um, Denzel sure. play God? Oh, I'm trying to think of what show that was. It's not clicking. Uh, I have a strong sense that he did, though, also. I can't say what it is, though. Well, he did play God in Preacher's Wife. Is that it? Do you remember that? The Bishop's Wife? Was Edward, Edward Woodard in the movie The Bishop's Wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think it's God? No, but that can't. It's well, he played an angel. He played an angel to come help. Uh, so it can't um, be the character; it has to be the name of the, of the right. Of the film. Uh, but was Ed Woodard in the Bishop's Wife? Uh, I don't know. Edward Woodward. I don't even know who that is. Edward Woodward. I don't know. And I can't think of nine. Is, <sighs> nine is two Nine. Yeah. Richard Harris was Camelot. Graham Chapman was Quest for the Holy Grail. And then oh, the other yeah, two. No Graham Chapman. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So. All right. Is not is not the answer Camelot though? Then. No, the it's King Arthur. He, the play the King characters. Arthur. Yeah, pseudo, legendary character. It's King Arthur. Holy uh, Grail. I've, I've always known that Camelot. as the Camelot. Uh, Legend. Right, but Sean Connery it's, played King Arthur in. But we're not going for names of characters. These are names of the no. IP. Name the oh, character. Number nine yeah. is the character. One, two, yeah, five, and the, eight. They uh, want the IP because the yeah. character's names have changed. But he wants the name of the character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Also, I'm telling groups number ten is the hardest one, but there's a clue inside the questions. I've typed it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Leave what? so I can tell them. What? Bye, Mike. Go away. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? Mm -hmm. You want to hear it? Uh, you're right, sure. You want to hear a say? No, Bob. It's Beau Jest. It's Beau Jest. Never heard of that. Last remake, yeah, uh, back in the 70s, they made this comedy spoofy thing called The Last Remake of Beau Jest. It's a classic story about the, the guy's dishonored and he runs away to join the foreign legion it's all about the, the french foreign, foreign legion, legion? Uh, the so french is it so, so bob Michael is that Jens, huh? is that the it's guy's about, name is that a yeah, name Bo Jess, J, J E S T E. it's the character and the ip okay okay what is bowie Bo B E A U, handsome in french Bo, uh, B -E -A -U. Bo. and what's the last name just Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. All right. So, by my reckoning, we were blank. There's a on lot one, of French stuff tonight. One, four, five, and eight still. Right. Well, be glad you got me. Why is we're always happy about that? What? If what you're not here, Bob. Me? We have your chicken. Um, no. what is the clue that's in the? I don't get it. He says the show came out a, last week. He says there's a clue in number ten. That, we don't okay. number 10, we it, it doesn't matter. We, we're wasting time on what we the, already got. The Michael York wait. version was called The Last Remake of Beau Jest. It's okay. been remade several times. We have four that we week. haven't gotten yet. Let's yeah. stop talking about yeah. that. I don't know any of these others. Okay, Shush Susan, we're going back to number one. <laughs> what premiered last week? Oh, that's a good question. The Ted John Malkovich, Colin Firth, and Ryan Felipe. Bruno Yankovic. So. Oh God! I've been waiting Crown. for Jack Ryan to premiere, but I don't think it did yet. The Bible, oh. Kyle, you should know these things. You think maybe, but TV. no, I don't watch, watch too much TV. anymore. I used to. Okay, Colin I Firth. I would watch shows, but I don't know who the actors. Wait, are. Colin Firth yeah. is the guy who's on Weekend uh, Weekend Report on. If Sunday they do Hunter. a really good job. I don't right? want to know. I, I shouldn't be able to look at the character. No, Anybody who's actually that trying to solve this, Faith. Um, Colin Firth is a, a British or Irish actor. Mm, I don't know who he is, but I know who I I know who you're talking about. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So nobody nobody knows that one. 
Uh, but no, you actually, you might be. You could be right. It could be the guy. There's a new Oz thing coming out. Did that premiere? Wizard of Oz? Oz thing? Yeah, some new Oz thing. I haven't looked deep into it yet. I hadn't seen that. Mehmet Oz. Gosh, could you just stop contributing information? Dr. Oz! The Wizard of Oz. Right? I think it's Dr. Oz, right, Romero? John Malkovich. That's what he's going to be doing now. Now that he's <laughs> going to be a wizard. No, you're right. Colin Firth. Colin Firth is from SNL. Colin Farrell is the one I'm getting confused. Okay, so that's what I thought. I didn't even know he was an actor. That's really weird. Colin Firth is an actor. Huh. That's weird. He never does any of the skits on Tiny Night Live. He just does the news thing. That's weird. You think he was an actor? He would do. Could the it skits. be Fargo? Colin Jost is the guy who's on Saturday Night Live. Oh, Colin Jost. Yeah, so we Colin Firth is one of the stand-up. We don't, we, we don't know this. People. We don't know this. I don't know. So last night I went to a comedy show and Michael Che was was one of the comedians. Uh, oh, the other guy from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Remember Bob Pat Goldthwait? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he he's still performing. He was great. <sighs> he's very angry so, number four who what shakespeare people have Lawrence olivier played the main character you name it he's played hamlet king lear um Richard played, Bull, or henry the fourth henry the fifth are you guys almost done I we've got we're four we're more. trying to solve four of them but we keep getting interrupted by non sequiturs and it's Getting on our nerves. I don't know. Right. Ooh, ooh. Do we want to go with King Lear or could it possibly be Macbeth? Did Russell Crowe play Macbeth? Don't know. I when think it, so. I think it is wonderful. It is guess as any. Let's to put Macbeth. Or not to be. Let's put Macbeth. That's a different. Five. Oh, yeah, that's not that what I kind of like... Five is. Five is Robert Urich. Wow. Samuel Jackson. Name the IP. Can't I don't know. Alex Russell. Spencer. Buddy. Spencer for hire. That was Robert, Robert Urich, right? But was there a black guy in that? Yeah, there was actually, wasn't there? Do we want to put that down? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that, Ooh. Bob. I like that. Okay, and number eight. No idea. I want to go back to the. What was the source material for the preacher's wife or the bishop's wife? Uh, but it was God. Yeah. Well, no. Denzel didn't play God. Denzel played an angel that was coming to help. God oh, sent okay. him down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. And they had to do it to earn their wings and stuff like that. Okay. I mean, Would Edward Woodward have been the angel from uh, A Christmas Story? No, that it would have been from The Bishop's Wife. The Bishop's right. Wife is the original iteration of The Preacher's Wife. Mm. <sighs> Queen Latifah was in Living Single. But this one's different. And that's what I think it is. So why don't we just put down The Bishop's Wife? Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the original title. Yeah. Bachelor Button. Oh, Benjamin Button. What? Yeah, no. because it's uh yeah, what? because it's one of the IP ones. So you what are you talking about, Susan? Mm -hmm. Did I ever tell you I've been struck by lightning? Yes, you have multiple times. Twice, yeah. I have been struck by uh, lightning twice that I know of. You were struck by lightning? Lightning. So how did you know? How, You've when, told us before through trivia. When were you struck by Lord? Rob, what is wrong? I think one was on my shoulder. Uh -huh. Have you been drinking, Susan? Number one. I had Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it is out of amazing. It doesn't usually jar. come in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's my a Diet Mason Dr. Pepper. Jar. It's this is my Diet Dr. Jar. Pepper cup. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure it is. You're drinking out of a Mason jar. Moonshine is. No, I don't. I'm very, I mean, I drink, but I don't drink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's some in that owl hat. <laughs> so we just we don't have one. We don't have um, one. 
I, I have no idea. I, I can't picture who any of these people are, well, except for John Malkovich. Right. Uh, so, I know who uh, Ryan Felipe is. I, I don't even know what he's been in. So, he's yeah. been in Cruel <laughs> Intentions. Did someone think he was married to Reese Witherspoon for a while? Bob, a you don't have to eat the paper. Eat your words. Well, what came, what premiered last week that was important to everybody? I told you the crown, Wardell Yankovic. It can't be the crowd. Oh, oh I know what it is. I know what it is. It's those kids that are in the upside down, upside down world. No, that, that, that didn't no. premiere. That did not premiere the next. Did season. not premiere. I haven't seen it yet, so it hasn't come it, out yet. It came out in June, in May and June. This is I haven't it. seen no. the third one yet. I saw the second, but I don't remember anything. What about the uh, Dumber movie? Not the Dumb and Dumber? No, the, the Dumber show that we watched. What the hair of me? Dumber. Dumber. Jeffrey Dumber show. No. No. The Jeffrey Dumber show. 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 And that is not. Oh, it's Imogen. That is something you entirely. You're in. You're in a good kitty. So what has John Malkovich been in? Being John Malkovich. Malkovich. He was, they were saving him or something. Malkovich, right? Malkovich, Malkovich. <laughs> yeah, he played. Oh my God, I'm so lost in this category. I don't know anything here. He played Winston Churchill in that one thing, but. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Colin Firth is the hot dude that was in uh, Love. You think Addison. he's hot? Yeah, he is a hot dude. He's a hot dude. Yes, he's British and he's a hot dude. He's it's like not British. Yes, he is. Colin first. 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 He married that. He married a model, I think. Right. And he's on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we we, we went through this. No. Isn't... It's the wrong person. Yeah. But, well, who Next. am I thinking of? Have you... I don't know. Maybe I'll have to ask Thomas John who you're thinking of. <laughs> have you got a, Have you got any Robitussin? <laughs> Does his name begin with an M or a J? I don't see it on the Wikipedia. <laughs> smelling like roses. Struck by thunder, Susan. Struck by thunder? She was or, struck by. Or by lightning. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Mary and Joseph. There you go. <laughs> Going to the, church. This I enjoy much better. Thank you for lightening the mood. You keep this up. We're doing midnight math on Christmas. Are we done? No, we still Don't have tell me we're done. Time. Unless we can come up with one. I have a balloon. What premiered next? That that don't say stuff like that, Susan. People think you do drugs. <laughs> All the people who know people don't know me that I would never do that. Uh, Name of IP. Michael. What came out last uh, week? Take a little bit. I've Did you not a fucking piece of Hey, I hear there's going to be new. Somebody's running for president already. <laughs> program with an app, and you don't know what fucking birds are. Oh my god! You are not allowed to complain about how much money I spend on LED lights for the rest of the year. Oh, you've been buying a bunch of LED lights. I've been seeing that. LED trees. lights. That's LED fun. lights. I have Alexa controlled Christmas tree now. I'm just saying, awesome. turn on. Hey, Alexa, turn on the tree. Are we done? <laughs> so let me tell you, we're done. We're done. We Look at uh, what are we here comes a T Rex. We got another, another, another dinosaur. See the two dinosaurs? Number one. Here's two dinosaurs. Why don't we put in for number one? Doctor Who. Okay. Curse you. Let's go with Doctor Who for number one. Oh, Doctor, <laughs> what? Yeah, because well, nobody else is coming up with anything. Yeah, I told you. Okay. That's the young place. People, no, you were wrong. Oh my God! Can we please be done? I feel like I'm getting getting a mm. tooth and neck to me. John Malkovich played a role in the Doctor. Really? What's what our guess is since nobody else can come up with anything? It's Doctor Who. That's it. I know it. Yeah. Is it Doctor? Well, Doctor Doctor Who's come out? There's been a bunch of doctors. No, we it's it's one it. of the it's one of the people who helps the doctors. The companions, you mean? Yeah. Would you like a net? I don't think John Malkovich was a companion. Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah. John, my tension's over. It says, "Jesus, yeah. take the wheel." I'm gonna go take a, a nature break since I think we're done. We're done. Put a fork in it already. Come on, we're done.
Jesus. Good job, team. That's let's go. Thing Back to, to the, the let's go. Close all rooms. <laughs> Like a peanut, peanut one, and one peanut. Richard, Richard, to introduce our guest star. That's what I'm here to do. Yes, what? I was hit by lightning. Were you? Twice. Twice. Is there a punchline or what? For what? What do you mean you were hit like by lightning twice? What are you talking about? Why are you telling me you were hit by lightning twice? Who? You. Jamie? Mm -hmm. Anybody want a nap? <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Thank you. It makes me so smart. I got all these right, you guys. Good job. Good job. Yeah, they just kind of, we just sat around. And I just, pity yeah. the next team that gets Susan. Susan, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? <laughs> That's Five. one. Three. Three. I mean, zero. Three. three. One. Well, one. That, a two. A three. A three. <laughs> one. A two. A three. I mean, oh, one of my favorite guys characters. I'm already at the Tootsie Roll. You didn't say Tootsie Roll pop. Mm. One. Uh, Adrian. World may never know. Adrian. Yes. So um, apparently we're being recorded. Just sorry that you know. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> That's Super it. I'm out of here. Susan, <laughs> I, I yeah. saw that because of the name. That was a good name. Yeah, I thought so it doesn't make any sense at all. We don't have any idea what they're talking about. Yeah, Susan, your your, your hat looks like the the uh, chicken, the Doomberg chicken. It's an owl. Uh oh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's a parasite, and I think they're controlling <laughs> Susan right now. Yeah, <laughs> like you were head. not in my room. You should see how we rock, man. Those people. <laughs> We oh, had it, man. Point. I had all the answers. Let's go. Let's see who. Let's, let's just what? watch you guys eat our smoke. Well, one of those brain slugs from Futurama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike, get us out of this category quick. So right. Susan, Susan claims she's not on anything, but I think Mark slipped her something. <laughs> she doesn't know. I'm telling right. you, it's the parasite on top of her it head. It's doing be. something and, to her brain. <laughs> Karen could run down and see she's right down the street. Number one. These actors all played Valmont from Dangerous Liaisons or oh. Rule Intention. Oh, we were yeah, so close. So There's close with that. show on the Stars oh. Network uh, that premiered, I think. Uh, and I even mentioned week. Cruel Intentions. And they yeah, would not listen part. to me. Is Dangerous Liaisons good or do we have to get the character? Hmm? No, no, just, we're, just we're dangerous not. liaisons. Is okay. Right, I told you guys. Yep. <laughs> um, number two. I don't think anyone would have gotten the uh, name of the character, but this was Father of the Bride. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Andy Garcia's most Could you put number one, one in the uh, in the chat? His so I can just spell it right. Dad, Mike. Come on. Uh, I'll <laughs> there copy you go. and paste all these into the chat. Okay. All at once or when it's in the end. And three. Number three, which is of course Doctor Who. No, it is not Doctor <laughs> Who. That's the other thing. Be mad. It is uh, the the trick of that is they're all from the same show, The Crown. Uh, yes, Prince uh, Philip. Philip. Prince Philip. We had that yeah. one. That was can, man, let can, me tell we you. Put, can we put Prince Philip? Yeah, that's yeah. Prince Philip is well, the actually movie. asking for the character. So yeah, answer. Yeah. We are not asking okay. for the IP of the Crown. Hold on, okay. number. I'm going to do a thing for. Oh wait. Yeah, does he have to stop recording? Release the cracker. Yeah. You either remembered that. Uh, oh. huh? I thought a woman did that. Yep. When it what? Trump's people. What's, what's the answer? That was, of course, uh, Liam Neeson as Zeus. 
Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's also mm-hmm. played, there's another there's a similar I couldn't find uh, Lawrence Olivia saying release the Kraken. Oh, yeah. And Russell yeah. Cole, if you all watched uh, the new Thor movie, movie was yes. oh, uh, a, a movie that yes. one of us yeah. one among us mm-hmm. may have had a part in, I think. Well, I'm in that I'm in that bloody scene too. <laughs> You're in that scene. <laughs> oh, you didn't come up <laughs> with that, Richard. No, no. no. I was sure you'd get that right. I think Sean that was your line, Richard, wasn't it? No, he, was, he was being chased by it. Yeah, my line was. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So this was in Thor. One of the one of these people played it in the Thor. Who who was yeah. it? Russell, Russell Crowe. Crow. Crow. God, yeah. I didn't realize that was Russell Crowe. That was yep. Richard yeah, Saunders. I, 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 I was fixated on finding well, Richard was, Saunders, so I wasn't was paying really attention to, to Russell Crowe. You're like, is there other people? It's really hard to notice Russell Crowe because Richard outacted him. That's right. That's what I thought. I agree. Richard just overshot the whole thing. I the, the okay. laugh just so, was so, so natural scenes. and fantastic. Oh my gosh. So like, okay. Number five. Steve Steve Forrest was a Hondo and Robert York, of course, the originator of Jim Street from the TV show SWAT. S- oh, SWAT. SWAT. Special Weapons and Taxes. Recreated by Samuel Jackson and Colin Farrell from our yeah, of course. SWAT. I don't think anyone probably got Hondo or Jim Street, but <laughs> yeah, no. Number six. You talked me out of that one. <laughs> that was the post-apocalyptic. Uh, either uh, Vincent Price was the last man on Earth, Charlton Heston was the Omega Man, oh. and Will Smith was I Am Legend, which was the name of the book. So any of those, mm. all right, will be acceptable. Woo. Got it. Good job. Good job. Good job Keanu Pete. Reeves, uh, Matt Ryan. And Jenna Coleman, or of course the DC super natural detective guy, uh, John Constantine, or yeah. Tinder Swift oh, yeah. as Joanna Constantine in the I know uh, a cop, I didn't know Sandman of, of, show. of course. Of Matt course. Ryan was, of course, had his own show, and then he was on the uh, of course. Legends of Tomorrow. <gasps> wait, wait, it's coming. Wait, think, breaking what? news. I hear breaking news from, from somebody's dog. What is that? Barking news. It's barking news. Well, barking news. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Number eight, yeah. Edward Woodward, of course. That was the only thing we know him from. But then in the movies, uh, Denzel Washington and currently on TV, Queen Latifah is the equalizer. The equalizer. Been equalized. Hey, Edward I Woodward was also uh, a kingdom agent. Did they drive a taxi? Yeah, he was. Mike uses the term, of course, very loosely, Leonard. So we will, if, if of any course. of you got, uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I even write down the name. I don't know what the name of the, the equalizer's real name is. He's the equalizer. Robert something. How about they put an equal sign? <laughs> and then ER number, after it. Number nine. Um, uh, you guys for Camelot and uh, the Holy Grail. Uh, that'd be King Arthur. Yep. Yay. Yay. And then number 10, I have, another, I have another screen That's share. Um, <laughs> so those all played uh, G E S T. Oh, Jest. Thank you, Bob. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What's his name? Michael York was Bo Jest in the last remake of Bo Jest. So <laughs> that uh, is why that, that is a tenuous is. clue. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Marty Feldman also played the camel. Garrick? Yeah, Marty, <laughs> Marty <laughs> Feldman. Marty was the last the one at that point. <laughs> All right, oh, I, oh, I see. Because no, you said the last one. Into the uh, chat. Okay. Yep. Oh, I get it. Good job, team. That's well, clever. So there's only, it's it's the only a clue if you knew the name of the movie. The, in the last remake of Bojess, Michael York was Bojess. Mm-hmm. Okay, tabulate your tabs. Okay. I'm just going to copy these over real quick. We have okay. tabulated. Oh yes, yeah. one had... one that I the one that I skipped because I read it was of course there behind me. You can see Louis Guzman in the upcoming uh, Wednesday Adams TV series. Oh yeah, where he plays Gomez, Gomez Adams. But you guys would have known um, oh, Wednesday Adams. John Aston, uh, Raul wow. Julia. Tim Curry I'm also also paid Gomez Adams. Tim Curry. I'm looking forward to the new show. Hopefully, it's good. I am legend. So wait, Mike, which which one is that an answer to? It's not an answer. It's just a. It's just. It's just. It was a. Uh, 
He could have been bonus this. in an alternate universe. Mm. That was <laughs> could have been a question in an alternate universe. Yes. The Prince Philip from the Crown was a late ad, and I had to eliminate uh, Gomez Adams. Uh, so I realized, oh, wait, the Crown, I could have the whole topic be just characters from the Crown. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. No. Characters, uh, I can I can name the characters, but not the actors. Yeah. Speaking of uh, something kind of related to the <laughs> Crown, uh, who's Who's the most, who, who's the guy who plays the most recent uh, 007? The, the one who uh, the, the the one who did the little uh, was in the little short with the Queen for the Olympics. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Oh, Craig. <coughs> yeah. Okay, we're ready for scores? Because I sure am. No, no. I am so well, well, ready. You got a per your team got a perfect score, correct? Well, they didn't listen to me and all of them. So they did get perfect. Uh huh. <laughs> Ouch. So, of course not. All right. <clears throat> Elon Musk meet Dunning, Dunning Gregor. 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 Kruger. 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 Brian Dunning. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk meet du Brian Dunning. Six. Six. You're in the lead. Yay. All right, let's go up here to Statler Ward Vincey. Seven. You're in the lead. All right. The Fall Guys got lost in the Winchester Mystery House looking for something to eat. Or. Okay, so your own team, Mike. Transporter and Jackson. I think we got six and you need help. <laughs> <laughs> what are you starting? What are you talking about? Look at that. No, Did you not testing. see that too? No, 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 no. We won't get the score from this team, stupid team down here. Yes, you're right now. How dare you? I dare you. We got 10. Oh, oh no, my God. likes you. <gasps> oh, my God. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, and then I need to go get a Dr. Pepper. Okay. And some, and some, and some milk duds? No, I can't find them. I'm trying not to eat milk duds right now. Okay. I'm trying to not eat candy. I'm eating I found, candy. I found a supply here in Sydney for you. So I, no, no. Well, I have to go to Sydney. I am trying not to eat all that candy. So, like candy. all right, here we go. Where do Max is? As, where's Faith? <laughs> All right. Okay. One and a two and a three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh that's beautiful. Hey. So you when you do this picture of everybody, does that get more than 25? <laughs> 25 what? People. People on the screen. I think yeah. it is at yeah, a time. I got you all. Yeah. Even those who aren't there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Five minutes, y'all. Okay. Five Bye. minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll see you another week, probably. probably. Bye, Jim. Bye. Take care. Be back. Yeah, I'm. Bye -bye. I'm We're about to do a category at all about gins and Vincents. Just remember <laughs> that five minutes in y'all actually translates to about three. So. Okay. Yeah, about yeah. three. So hurry back. I, I actually got to head out, Susan. I'm. I'm. I unfortunately have an early meeting tomorrow and I've been spending like the reason I was late was I was spending all day writing for it. So I'm all right. Well, but let you go. You're excused. It was so nice to see Happy everyone. Meeting. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Hey. Happy meeting, Bye, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> we are still recording. Yes. Oh, dear. We have to be careful what we say then. Adrian, are you still in the giggle zone? <laughs> Apparently, are. It's so hard for me not to giggle. It's way harder not to giggle. I can tell you that. Uh, I've, I've noticed. <laughs> and it's not just a Zoom phenomenon. <laughs> Did you get in trouble for that? I can't remember. Did you get in trouble for that in school? 
I actually apparently was very quiet and shy in school. Oh. Not sure what happened. Hmm. And, and my mom and dad would always, because they would get these report cards or go to parent teacher interviews and they would all talk about how quiet I was. And they'd go, huh, Adrian? <laughs> I wasn't quiet at home. <laughs> I got in trouble for talking all the time and giggling. I came out of my shell as I got older. Mm. It took Susan Gerbeck to really pull it out of me. Got it. <laughs> well, Susan does make shell. lots of people laugh. Not that much. <laughs> well, if you think about the first Psycon that I went to when I just had joined GSOW, I was still in training. And she hardly even noticed I was around. She's like, I don't remember, even hardly remember you. And I thought, yeah, I was kind of hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's so so you've been to other psychons just one other yeah In what was this i heard my name yeah what year? we're telling stories on you what year yeah, i have to friend? go back and listen to the video uh 2018 Peek -a -boo. Peek -a -boo. very <laughs> rainbowy my sister made it for my mom when I had chemo, I took it with me every day. Well, not every day, but every time I had chemo and I'd wrap myself up in it. It was so sunshiny. It felt so good. How lovely. How lovely. All right, we're back. Only some of us. There's a we still got two minutes left. Somebody's timing us? Look, look. I am. Diet Dr. Pepper, see? I have the lovely A&W Zero Sugar. How many people who knows all about this technology Ooh. business? Uh -huh. Tell me how to put a background on and not leave the room. All right, somebody show show her how. How can I do that without leaving the room? I know how to put a background on, but only by closing what, Zoom. What are you using? What? what are, you, or are you on a laptop Adrian. or a computer? Or? No, I'm on a, I'm on a computer. It's, okay, uh, so um, go to the bottom, oh yeah, Susan. On the left, you see where it says "Stop Video." Yeah. Click the up arrow that's right next to it. Okay. And then choose in the middle virtual section, background. choose yep. virtual background. Oh, okay. Now okay. you may not have any virtual backgrounds available. If you don't, then there's a plus sign. Click that, and then you can search on your computer for images to use as the background. And he gave me the. And you you saved the wallpaper to your computer already, Gail. Did I what? Did you save the image to your to a folder on your computer already? No, I copied it, but I didn't save it, so I've lost I it. it. I'll go back to the chat and get it again. Yeah. I copied it and then I didn't know how to get it in. Yeah, so you, have to, uh, you have to actually save it to your computer. Yeah, so. Can somebody put that into the chat. the chat again for me? Copied so. it. But I just copied it. How do I? I don't know how to do that. So what do you want to put in the chat? The I want, I'm trying to, to put the background the down image. everybody else has, but I don't know. The how to link do to it. the image. Yeah, I just posted oh. the link again for anybody who needs it. I've got the link. So you click on it and it should open up in a web browser. And then you just right click on the image and you should see something to the effect of save image as or save image. And then whatever folder you save it to, when you click the plus sign in Zoom, you navigate to that folder and find the, the file, which will have the, the name Muppet-show-zoom-background, I think. Okay. Well, I just did that, but one thing to make sure, when I, when I saved it, it a PDF file, and Zoom doesn't upload a PDF file, so you have to change it to a JPEG file. It, uh, uh, it, uh, I didn't have to do that. It should be a JPEG already. It was originally a JPEG, yeah. yeah. As a PDF, but I it was it was a, it was a JPEG. It the, the link, desktop, the honest, link in the right. chat is a JPEG. JPEG. And we have got the long the long link. The wrong link. 
That looks the like the right link. link. No, it's a JPEG. Yeah. The most recent yeah, link that Ben said is a JPEG. Yes. This Muppet thing is a cult. <laughs> like Wordle. Susan's not I, I love how uh, Susan talks about Wordle being a cult, but yet what we do every week for how many weeks now is totally not a cult. No, this isn't a cult because we allow anybody in. All right. Who, who has the break in the pool of when Susan will first say the word? <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a cult. Cults will also let anyone in. It's just they won't let you out. They won't right. let you out. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a roach motel. No, I don't know. Has anyone tried to leave the trivia yeah. yet? Will Susan yeah, let we'll you leave? <laughs> oh, yeah. I tried. She won't let me. <laughs> There's didn't didn't yeah, Jeff just did leave and and didn't um. Oh, but yeah, they'll be back. Yeah, we did hey. Hotel California. If you're Check gone too many weeks in a row, Susan, Susan sends an adjuster to your house. <laughs> I've got a few people who are going through uh, all of the videos and they're checking everybody's blinking pattern to see if there's Morse code. Mm. <laughs> Heather said she would be here tonight, except that she had an opportunity oh, for money. Oh, money's so, good. There ain't no money here. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, so we're coming back. Let's see. So we have the background, but we disappeared. Mm. Hey, Susan. Yeah, we well, need, that'll you need be, better lighting. You have to be closer to the camera, I think. Well, there's also, yeah, that could be the option have. of, did you check the box that says, I have a green screen? Oh yeah, you can't. You need use... to uncheck that box. Okay. Yeah. That might be what's happening to your image, because you... if you uncheck the box, it uses your computer's processing power to simulate a green screen. Do you only want to check that box if you actually have a physical green screen behind you? Okay. What are you drinking? As Robin puts the oh, okay. green screen behind. Your... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get the Muppet thing. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. I, I am so pleased with so many of you guys. You're so knowledgeable about this stuff. When we first started doing this, oh my gosh. We're all like, anybody hey, Susan, here at that time? Susan, what were you drinking? What were you drinking? I, Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to drink out of the, the can because it just. I got A&W, Richard. Right. Look what, hey. Good stuff. Yay. Love A&W. California. You have to keep saying I that. A&W. I found a new supply. It's only $25 a carton. Oh, He's crazy. You're crazy. I grew up like two blocks away from an A&W, and then, then one day they shut it. It wasn't the correct down. answer. So sad. When did you get it? I, I used to live in a It was started in my hometown, oh, so I am proud of A&W. My hometown. Isn't that a song? Probably. Probably Joel. Hey, who had the lights on there? Wasn't Lou Bingo Gehrig. ticket. Okay. We're, somebody helping Lynn and Paul? Uh, we're trudging we're along here. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Perfect. There, there you, you are. Are. Yeah. Did you uncheck the I have a green screen button? Yeah, yep, you, look great, you look great uh, now. We did, but it, um, so the the, the it's problem telling us is to download something. We'll figure the, it out. The, later. the the problem is there are two of you, mm -hmm. and it's yes. having trouble figuring out what's oh, a face and okay. what is. Okay. Yeah. So you have to be on the same plane. So put your arms around each other. Right. <laughs> when you move, you move is, at the same time. Away <laughs> from the camera than the other, you will disappear. Or one of you can just be a ghost coming and going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's gonna have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to a Yule this year, Adrian? What's that? The Yule, the Yule <laughs> celebration with our with our group. Oh, probably not. Probably What's a Yule? Not. I haven't gone. I think we're away. What's a you all? Okay. Big yeah, you all. You'll know later. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. What is a Yule? Yeah. It's Are you a going? Big log. Uh, yeah, I'm actually volunteering. So oh, good for you. Amazingly enough, yeah. Nice. Definitely have the mask on though. So yeah, stepping out. All yeah. right, you guys, we gotta come back from our break. Okay, I love that. to have the power. The power. Do we have to leave? <laughs> Do we have to leave before we come back? I left. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, who we are now. So Kyle. Hey, hey. There he is. Kyle. I understand you have a podcast and I was listening to it and I didn't know that 
people used ad blockers i was really shocked because A startling uh, amount of people do yeah. i was really shocked which you thought was one in four people use ad blockers and the woman you had interviewed said half of people use ad blockers. yep anybody here use ad blockers ad blockers yeah. Yeah. i don't use it Not no ads. Ads. Yeah. on what program on all programs or oh, like yeah anything any internet browser. Browser. Any browser. On, on your internet browser so i'm curious oh. can i get can I, I get a show of hands again and hold it long enough that I could actually look at it? How many people here use ad blockers? I'm not sure. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen of you guys. Is that, is, that, is that something you have to specifically buy yeah. for your browser? Uh, there's and free stop. ones, but you it's have to one. you have to go out and get one. You don't typically just have one automatically. I had one the before that turned all of Trump into kittens. <laughs> Every time yeah, this picture showed on the screen, it was a kitten. That's <laughs> not an ad blocker. That's not an no. ad blocker. No, no. I, had an I, that I don't have it anymore. I, up I created Trump. a Facebook group called No Ads. But not many people go in it. Only subtracts. <laughs> <laughs> I've always partial to multiply myself, but you know they divide. So I, I had an ad blocker which got me a lifetime ban from YouTube. What? What? Really? Yep. You get banned from lots of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about it later. Oh, I tried. Yeah, I... I tried to um, sell an ad blocker, but I didn't know where to advertise it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the 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 show I'm talking about, the Kyle did about ad blockers, was really interesting because they talked about how uh, some people who sell ads feel like they're being cheated, like like people who are blocking ads are stealing stuff because you're not looking at the it's really was it was a it was a neat discussion i had never really thought about it before Argument but anyway be what's new on data skeptic or like you said we're delving into ad blockers some surprising insights including the fact that uh news websites people actually consume more news when they use an ad blocker mm -hmm. so for whatever that's worth maybe the nude site news site should the have news little... site <laughs> <laughs> We know what you're yours. looking at on the internet. <laughs> so a question I had, Kyle, listening to that episode, yeah, is how could they tell if you had an ad blocker? Because uh, there's something that shows up in the header that indicates it's there. And since she got her data directly from the news websites, <laughs> they're able to track it in their logs. But why would the head why would the why would the ad blocker advertise its existence? Um, I believe there's a complicated back and forth between the blockers and the sites because you can block the blockers. Although there's a thing there to unpack. I don't necessarily know all the details on you, right? Sometimes yeah, I mean, they can could, tell that their scripts aren't being executed inside the ad. Yeah, right. I've seen that happen. A website so pops the, up the and says, it appears you're using an ad everything. blocker. You need yeah. to turn it off in order to yeah, see the, this. The, right. the ad yeah. blocker could just download everything yeah. and not, not render it to the it. screen. That anyway, is a very interesting yeah. discussion. That, I, I suspect yeah. that it will be the next step in the evolution. Mm. Yeah, yes, let's hope so. Very, very interesting. This is on the podcast Data Skeptic. So, Richard, this is how the commercial goes. That's an awful nice web browser you have there. <laughs> an awful shame of somewhere to start serving ads up on it. <laughs> <laughs> Richard uh, Saunders, I hear you have a podcast as well. And I think that on the next one, there yes. might even be a people, bunch of trivia people who are guessing rolls of dice. I bet dice. you've all forgotten the number now, too. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Second one was, it was six, nine, and two. two. Well done, Susan. Well done. Coming up. I on got my owl hat on. <laughs> yeah. Lightning strikes twice. Coming up <laughs> on the skeptics. <laughs> Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, we have an interview with Zeon Lights, who used to be part of Extinction Rebellion in the United Kingdom before she left the group with fundamental disagreements about their outlook and activities. And now she's an advocate for clean, green nuclear energy. We have the Australian Skeptics newsletter, which is late. I don't know what's going on. Adrian Hill, where are you now? Adrian Hill's going to be reading me the Australian <laughs> Skeptics newsletter with Deep Vanessa, as she does every week. And then we have a, a more now continuing series of Rob Palmer at the recent Psycon. This week, amongst other people, Rod, Rob talks to 
uh, uh, Brian Dunning. Ooh. Brian Dunning about his new movie, the UFO movie, They Don't Want You to See. <clears throat> All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. Very, Very good. good. I am behind. I just... I'm behind. Um, and so, Adrian, right, I wanted to let say me, that your... Uh, that that your um, treatment of Ken Frazier in the last episode positively brought me to tears. Oh, thank you. Well, well done. I agree. <laughs> thank you. Yes, yes. Well, you know, um, it was interesting. I was preparing the episode and I had a, a trove lined up, and then when I heard that Ken Frazier died. I thought there's got to be something in the in the you know, and there I found it. I found a great article about him. A couple actually. Yeah. Yeah. What a wonderful that, human being. Not just a brief mm. covering. And also, of course, uh, Adrian read the... Uh, Lady Ganga. Lady Ganga, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And and um, I believe you've had Romero on interviewed, as well as Carl with a K. So yes. That was thanks to uh, Rob, yes. Yeah, we've had quite a few and um, on, but I haven't uh, heard I'm behind, you guys. I heard Romero. Well, catch so, so here's here's the... Here's the YouTube version of the last week's one, which actually has five people on the screen represented there. Richard, Adrian, myself, Kyle, and Carl. Very good. Okay. Okay. You were on a recent episode of the, the podcast, Susan. What were you? Were you? No. You were in the supermarket. Oh, I'm at the supermarket. Yeah. yeah at the supermarket. I gotta get my Canadian um yeah, the I gotta syrup. get my Australian, Australian maple, maple syrup. syrup. My, I, I must admit, my favorite line from you in that little sketch is where you say, but noted pancake eating expert Richard Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta listen to it. The whole, the whole show is just that's the best part. Awesome. <laughs> noted pancake. Anyway, so great stuff. There's some great stuff. So do we have any other, I've got a little thing of announcements. Who else has got announcements? Rob was just on Triangle Skeptic yesterday. And when is the video coming out? Uh, Romero would have to answer that. Uh, when when, uh, when Jeff comes back and uh, creates a YouTube channel. No, he's already got a channel. What? I saw it. It's well, called Triangle Skeptic. Right now. Well, um, he, well, I don't have access to upload the video. Okay, yet. so the truth comes out. You don't have the key. Okay. Right. All right. So, uh, today I was interviewed about the Australian Prediction Project again. This was by Abhijit. And uh, so that's ah. kind of cool. We'll be playing it in India. I'm really happy about that. I think I'll retire. Andrew, Rob, Australian Rob Prediction Project that many people in this group were involved in. You guys can always be involved in all the projects. You just got to have the time that we're there. Okay, so I have... Um, oh, uh, you have to be careful about volunteering, though, because then you end up doing podcasts. You end up doing all <laughs> kinds of stuff if you volunteer too much. You better be careful. And you okay. get your own cards, don't you, Aiden? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we have, have Ali Alexander? Ali Alexander time travel. What? Down what? My oh, because Ali Alexander time. Okay, that was just a note to myself. That was interesting. All right. So um, here, I want to make sure you guys have this, and I will probably give this to you for the rest of your life. So you want read it each time about the trivia, the the skeptic zone, as uh, uh, the skeptical inquiry article I wrote about trivia and i am working on a book called greek vampires it's going to be 30 chapters more or less that's what i figured out about 30 chapters i finished chapter 17 and i haven't got it edited or anything like that but it's coming along you guys let me tell you Woo it's so neat going back and looking at our history we've done some amazing things over the time um i wanted to uh wendy reminded me and i keep forgetting about this uh, at SciCon, we were talking about uh, Peter Bogosian, and he, and somebody said that he had supported Trump, and was a fan of, of Trump. And uh, uh, Emery Emery called, heard that, and called up Peter Bogosian and said, "What's this about you supporting Trump?" And Peter Bogosian's like, "I can't stand that bugger." <laughs> He's like, "No, yay, so, Emery." So, so if there's any rumor out there that Peter Bogosian is a Trump supporter. That has been dispelled. Oh, nobody knows yeah. how that started. No idea. Okay. I like your background, Adrian. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, and Gail will back me up on this, that uh, Rachel Maddow's Ultra is 
fucking amazing. If you want to listen and Wendy. Okay. So the, if you want to listen to a podcast, there's only eight episodes that come out every Monday, but we're about, we're on the seventh one. So you can listen to all seven right now. And it is history told as only as uh, Rachel Maddow can. It is incredible. So take my word for it and Gail's word for it and Wendy's word, and for, my it. word for it. Yeah, the three of us say it's amazing. And um, I have one more thing, but let me ask, has anybody got anything else before I go to the last thing? Well, can I say just briefly what it's about? Because if you just say the name Ultra, it's meaningless. Uh, it's you got 30 seconds, go. <laughs> it's about legislators, um, American legislators being in uh, Nazi operatives. 1940s. And what I think it's about is they tell you on the news that what we're going through right now is unprecedented. It's not. It's precedented. Yes, absolutely. And what I think it's about is to give you hope about the resilience of our nation and its people and really important information that will help us moving forward. Oh, Karen's a fan, too. All right. Anybody else is an ultra fan? Okay, there's just the four of us now. Let's see if we can get six next week. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna we're gonna sing happy birthday to Leonard. Aww. Now you guys know the rules for singing happy birthday because we're on Zoom. It's not gonna sync up exactly. So <laughs> not exactly, no. Uh, so what I'd <laughs> like is you so sing anything you want, any speed you want, and any words you want. So if you want to sing it to the tune of <laughs> the Muppet Show, that might be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, nobody else is going to admit to having a birthday this week, right? Yes, oh, I have the same family. birthday as Leonard. Oh, oh so it is me oh. too, Leonard and and Kevin Mocker. So let's make sure we do that in there somewhere. All right. So Se I will lead off. Okay. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And Carl has just has just followed up with his. his. We, we also share the same birthday with Kurt Schilling and the King of England. Who's Kurt Schilling? Baseball player. <laughs> baseball. The Red Sox with the oh. bloody sock. Baseball player and failed video game company. Okay. Yes, failed video game. Yeah. And also, what did he send? Oh. Okay, so that note's gone. Stupid thing on time. All right, so make the sure King you guys are subscribing to our YouTube channel birthday. and watching our old videos and enjoying them and sharing them so we can become a phenomenon. And they'll put us on on some TV show, and make us millionaires. All right. <laughs> we'll become as famous as the. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go. Let's go, disco. And we're going to go to the next person, which is Peggy, the piggy, piggy. Oh. oh. Piggy. We've got this. I've been wondering why we're doing this. It's your, is it, is it? No, it was Kevin's, Kevin's original oh. idea to have Muppet backgrounds. I just went with it because <laughs> it's it has a video filter that has pig. So yay. Oh, <laughs> well, darn it. I th I've been trying to figure out why we're doing, you guys are doing the Muppet background. Because they just filed it on the internet and Zoom. It was fun. Oh, I thought there was a theme coming up here. Damn it. And I've been reading this Piggy's Wikipedia page all this time. <laughs> it? it won't help you for this one. Uh, this is a this is a, gr a gruesome category. So this is famous accidental death trivia. Oh. Oh. These are all people who are already dead. I cannot kill them tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, and for those of you who don't know, Peggy killed off Betty White. What if they're resurrected? I was just going to say that. Yeah, okay, we Junior. resurrect them and then we kill them again. I'm going to take that count twice. What if they're only 
They're only mostly dead. dead. Mostly <laughs> dead. <laughs> or is this like double, double jeopardy? If you're resurrected, you can't be stoned again. Yeah, they're not kidding anyone. They'll be stone cold dead in a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some some basic facts, and then um, you just figure out who it is. So the first one is this person died uh, 9 14 27 a native of San Francisco, California, danced to great acclaim in Europe, and the Soviet Union was strangled by her own scarf. So who's going to mute us? I was going to, but then we got there. I'm going to mute everyone now. No Thank you. We've been mooted. You've been mooted. <laughs> hey, Miss Peggy. Yeah, Miss Peggy's got a better a than boot. being booted. Oh, Miss Peggy. I'm sorry, Ms. Peggy. Ms. Peggy. Yes. You're mooted. I can un- I can be Miss Piggy. People, little kids always call me Piggy. <laughs> they can't say Peggy. Aw. It's precious. Little fuckers. <laughs> can you talk okay. like Miss Piggy in a high pitched voice? Mm, probably no, not. That way. I like to I like to flip my hair though. Um this person was born 3189 in Leningrad, Russia, died 519, 2016, an actor killed by driverless car while checking the mailbox. 1989, right? Is that didn't it say 89? Yeah, but I was just Making sure it wasn't 1889. No, 1980. Yeah. Otherwise, he he lived a long. long yeah, I, you know, Medusa. It could be. Dracula. You live that long, and you die of a damn accident. <laughs> I know the irony. It, so they say. All right. Here we go with. Are you, are you sure that was a driverless car? I thought it was a regular car that just had. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking. Hey, 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 326 2011 died 225 1983. I think those are the reverse. I have a feeling they're reversed. backwards. Oh, you're right. Unless it's Benjamin Buttons. No, oh. I think it's, um, I'll look it up, but time travel. Date of death was okay. Back no, I can't even find it. Um, 1911. Probably 1911. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, 1911. Oh, that makes One sense. One of the three foremost American playwrights of the 20th century. First autopsy reports that he died of asphyxiation caused by inhaling a bottle cap. But that was later amended to report a bl- blamed a drug overdose instead. So, you know, your first accident. He's trying to get the Tylenol cover off the stupid child caps and he bit it. <laughs> Right? Drug overdose, get it? It's almost happened to me. I tell you, man. So he was born in 1911. Yeah, we think it's 1911. I'll double check and let you all know. Okay, this next one is this person was oh, I'm sorry. I keep flipping up too far. Can you do that? You won't do that. Are you flipping? Uh, I tried to do it with my finger, but it doesn't do it. Okay, this person born 620, 1925, died 528, 71. A soldier, an actor, a songwriter, a rancher. And in quotes, he received every military combat award for valor available from the United States Army, as well as French and Belgian awards for heroism. He died as a passenger in a private plane flying in low visibility weather. MK. Now, number five. Copy. Paste. This one is born 11949, died 422, 2002. Former porn star, super famous porn star turned born-again Christian, 
died of injuries sustained in car accident. Number six is person was born 129. Oh, I did it again. It's not 1981. Sorry, guys. Um, ignore, ignore the date of birth. The date of death is more important. Died 225-83. One of the three. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. She died 1129-81. Child star, then adult actress, died of accidental drowning. Investigation is ongoing. I'll double check her date of birth if it matters to any of you, but I don't think it will. She didn't yeah. die as a child star. Yeah, it's definitely not. That's definitely not her date of birth. But was she a child star when she died? No, no, then adult. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like we're going to do her horoscope or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my category kind of at the last minute from what I was intending. So I should have looked at these closer. I apologize. Doing uh, okay. Your this would give us too much information. Ooh, much information. I don't know these. So this lady, uh, born 5-3-1889, died 1-11-81. Damn cat. Stage, stage and screen actress since childhood. Her most well-known role was as George's mother in It's a Wonderful Life. She died from pulmonary complications, which followed a fall she took in her own home after tripping over her cat. Those cats, they're trying to kill us, I swear. They would eat your Beware. eyes. Beware. I almost, got, eat almost eyes. got my wife. Did they get her eyes? Smashed her head against the counter. Concussion. Wow. Wow. Those they're tough. They, they... They took her and beat her head against the counter. All right. This person was born 2-22-62, died 9-4-2006. A naturalist, zoologist, and TV personality, death by sea creature in the Great Barrier Reef. Copy. Two. Now we have number nine. Born 3 2 1874, died 1031 1926. Magic performer, escape artist, and spiritualist debunker. Died of appendicitis after being punched repeatedly in the stomach while reclining. I'm not sure what difference it makes to while reclining, but it seemed to make a difference in the article that was I consulted about it. And finally, we have um, born 511-63, died 318-2009. Actress from a famous family, died of epidural hematoma caused by skiing accident. All righty. It's a great way, great for taking the mood down there. We were just singing happy birthday. I'm doing this for all your good so that you're just more careful around things like, like cat, like cats, especially cats, huh? Cats. All right. I'm going to assume there are no more questions. I will find the correct information about dates of birth just in case that will make a difference. And see you all in your rooms. All righty, Ruth. Thanks, Peggy. Okay, I'm going to go. S is there people that need to go into rooms? No, everybody's got their own room. Oh, is that? Okay, in that case, I will share my screen so that we can to see do that since I only know one Thank of the answers. I have, I have a ghost here with me. <gasps> I just saw a hand. Oh, that's See, that's what happens. Are you seeing my screen? He's helping me out. We yes. got a couple. Yeah, I got one of okay. them. Okay, should we go through these one at a time? Don't jump around. It's too confusing. Oh, okay. 
Not that I, I know. Number it. one is such a famous story, and we yeah. can't think of the name. Oh, it was a woman. She's on a motorcycle. Is it Dora Duncan? Who? Is it Dora Duncan? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a motorcycle, right? I thought she was in a car. She was, she was in a car. She was in a car, car. And, and the wind blew the car. car yeah, I, I think it. I think it caught in the in the the axle of the car. Yeah. And D U N K I N D U N. I think it's D U N C A N. Oh, do, do, okay. Got it. Got it. Isadora. Okay, that's right. She yeah. was an actress, right? Uh, yeah, a dancer, mainly a dancer. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, how awful that must have been. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was. This was. He's the Star Trek actor in the reboots. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. being Russia though. He was. He was born in. He Russia. was born in Russia, born in but Russia. It, it happened in the U.S. Yeah, he died in L.A. or something. The car was. He was like got out and to check the, the mail and the, the, yeah. the car rolled back on him. Break, yeah. And it rolled him and crushed him into the mailbox, and he took a wow. while to die. This. This ghost from beyond here. I'm like looking yeah. for the voice. <laughs> Does anybody know its name? That's, that's the thing. I can't. I can't remember it. That's always my problem. I can even Check picture off. his face, but I can't remember it. Yeah, remember. Uh, well, should we go on and come back to it then? Sure. Sure. We just we mm -hmm. could call him just Star Trek, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Did he Chekhov play the Chekhov movie? character? Yeah, in, in he the played reboots, Chekhov. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Chekhov. Oh, Chekhov. I'll call Lynn if we don't. She probably knows. Okay, Perfect. so number three is somebody who couldn't get the stupid child cow. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Never heard this. Oh, and the date is birthday is. Uh, uh, 1911. 1911. Yeah, 1911. Uh, Was it like, uh, when did Eugene O'Neill die? Who? Eugene O'Neill? He's a famous playwright. Um, yeah. Neil Simon. Oh, Eugene O'Neill is a good answer. Neil Simon. Yeah. I, did Neil Simon die that, that early, though? No, I don't think I don't so. know. No, but Eugene O'Neill is a good answer. I think it's a it's good. A, it's the right age. Yep. It's the right age. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Um, and number four guesses. No idea. Oh, four is no. Uh, How did John Wayne die? I thought he <laughs> ordinary. Oh, yeah. he had a heart attack. Okay. Yeah, because he used to say he um, ate a bunch of fat or something and it wasn't true, but Murphy. Uh, you know what? This is probably right. Was what that is with Carl and any help all the time? Maybe. Audie Murphy. It's Audie. A U D I E. Audie Murphy. I don't know that name. Yeah, he was a yeah, very famous. Um, you know what year was it he died? Yes, yeah, no, I remember finding. My mom had a uh, scrapbook clippings of his death. I remember oh, seeing them in the. Interesting. Okay, I gotta find Peggy. Where's Peggy? What room? What's that guy's name? Um, Five. Oh, that's not John Holmes. Yeah, John. yeah, yeah. John Holmes, the, the guy who had the big woo Yeah. <laughs> Holmes. But, but, uh, but, I but I don't know if that's the, what, what, what's the, no. There's well, another guy though. Not him. Did he actually become a Christian? Oh, it was. Like, he had, there was a phrase that was called. It was named after his, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, called. But, I thought it was Holmes, wasn't it? Yeah, but there was another. There was another guy who was in the news recently. Um, it's like, well, this oh, was oh, died in two thousand and two. Yeah, no, but it's there's something I saw something on TV. It was uh, it was John Paul. No, I think it was John. Paul. No, they there's a the phrase of being a reborn Christian though. But well, I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah, but there was a guy who had a massive one and he was in all these porn films and the joke was always his name. Home. Yeah. I thought it was a three word name, like John something Holmes or something. John Paul Jones. <laughs> oh, John Paul Holmes. <laughs> not that I know. It's, it's Natalie Wood. It's Natalie Wood. Anytime. Yeah, yeah, Natalie Wood. Oh, yeah. that is. She didn't float. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the old that's the old joke. Name a type of wood that floats. 
<laughs> Mark had a crush on her so bad. She was pretty. Yeah. I've never, I don't know. I have no idea with this one. Oh, I can um, picture her, but I don't, I don't think I ever knew her name. Yeah, I have no idea. Damn. Yeah, I've watched that movie so many times and I can't even picture her. Yeah, no, I can picture her well. I just can't. I don't know her name. Don't know it. You sure it's not John Paul Holmes? No, I guess John Holmes is the same then. I'm just yeah, saying. exactly. It'll be the same. Okay. It just feels like it's a three word name. Was that Shirley? What's what's her name? Shirley, child actress. No. Oh, no, no. Um, you're talking about Shirley. the curls? Shirley um, Temple? Shirley Temple? Temple, yeah. She what would have been a kid, though, for the wonderful the right era. What are you talking about? Which question? Seven. Seven. It's the George's right mother, age. though, and it's a wonderful age. Yeah. yeah. She was the right age to have been a mother's, his mother at that age. Oh. Okay. Wait, It's a Wonderful Life was not filmed in 81. She died in 81. Yeah. And Shirley Temple right. lived. Shirley yeah. Temple could have, Shirley Temple Black, she could have been. She, I she died in 81. 81. I she know, died. She would have been born before 1900. Yeah, Shirley so Temple was, did not play in It's a Wonderful Life. Okay. Sorry. I agree. But that is the right age. Somebody heard the age. Yeah. Where the child actors were there. Um, number nine, uh, number eight, Irwin. Yeah, Stevie, Irwin. Stevie Irwin. Irwin. Uh, Irwin. Yeah. What is it? Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Irwin. How do you spell the last name? I R D I N. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. And number nine, everybody knows. Houdini. Houdini. Harry. Eric. Oh, yeah. Eric. Mm hmm. And um, 10. Natasha, Red, Vanessa Redgrave's daughter, Liam Neeson's wife. Is her name Natasha. Damn, Lynn. You, you rock. Check it out. You should have been in the last category. I don't know. It's Natasha, but I, I don't know if she goes by Redgrave. Natasha or... is, is Russian squirrel. Isn't that, isn't that her name? I'm not sure. But this is. It's close. <laughs> it. Tennis, not Nadia. No, Vanessa. No, Vanessa's her mother. Oh, that's the mother. Okay. Um. Yeah. I Man, I can picture her perfectly. Something like that is her name, Natasha. Definitely Liam Neeson's wife. Definitely Vanessa Redgrave's daughter. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we leave Redgrave? Because that, if we know that was her mother. Yeah. But Natasha Redgrave. And maybe we'll get a point. If that just doesn't sound, those two don't sound right to me together. But <laughs> her father, friends are there. Father's name, probably. Yeah, who's What's the father? Vanessa Redgrave, name, married to. You said the father. What? Who did you say? Liam Leeson? No, that's her husband. So could it Natasha Leeson? No, I don't think so. Who did? Yeah, who is married to? Because she was a movie star in her own right, or an actress in her own right. right. Uh, trying to think about. Okay. Think of a childhood actress who could be about the same age as Shirley Temple. Older than Shirley Temple, though, because Shirley Temple was a was a little girl when she did her movies, right? Which was in the what the thirties? Yeah. Uh, we only have. So, does anyone know who Chekhov was from Star Trek? What the guy's name was for number two? No, but I will call oh, them. She knows. It will. Yeah, have, will you let me second. put it in if I get it? I'll, I'll hurry, hurry. Um, okay, so this and the other one is. Uh, how about the woman with the big eyes? Oh, um, um, yeah, Betty Davis. Betty Davis? No, no, she was not in A Wonderful Life. Definitely not. Somebody older. Catherine Hepburn? 
Nope, she was not in wonderful life. And she, and she died of cancer? Catherine Hepburn died of cancer, yes. She could have fell over her cat and died of cancer, too. <laughs> she could have. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened to the cat? I don't know. Nobody cared, I guess. <laughs> it's a murderer. Poor cat. Cats get all. We're back. Kevin, did you not like uh, weird uh, the Weird Al story? Oh, I thought it was. It, it started off, and I had high hopes for it. I didn't like yeah. it. Oh, I, I it, 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 it it got bad. It was yeah. the it was it the started funny okay guy and got thing bad. just expanded out into a full movie. That's all it was. I, I thought yeah. it was going to be more realistic. It was like no, 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 no. It was it was totally apparent from the trailers that it was going to be a parody. I mean, how funny well, is it to have someone who who his a... whole career was based on making parodies of songs that he turns his his you know e e true Hollywood story essentially into? Yeah, a parody. I didn't see any of the the previews. I just watched the movie and I was like, oh, no. Watch. so. I wonder, had you known going in if your opinion I'll might have changed? Because I knew from the beginning that it was going to be a parody yeah, of his I, life, I, not I, a true I didn't story. Know. I knew Thanks that. Thanks for ruining it for us. I knew that, and I, liked, and I liked it. because I, I knew it was going that way right off the like bat. Like UFF. I, had, I read the Wikipedia description of it. And, go on. Yeah. So, yeah. Go on he was interviewed on Terry Gross religion. yesterday. Really? Yeah. NPR? Yeah. Okay, what's his, let's what's go. His real, what does Al, what does Al stand for, Susan? Albert. No, it doesn't. Al Alfred. 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 Thank you. Alfred. 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 Well, we know we're going to be able to revisit that question again later. many times. <laughs> yeah, we've already revisited it. Every I know. Time she's got it wrong. Pretty slide. She was there, on there my were, team once. There were Can so you many hear me? Best slides. There yes. were so oh, many cameras. All right, here we go. I'm going to go through them fast. Be alert. Oh, that's kind of creepy looking at her neck like that. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, I team. like the picture for that reason. Right. Oh, is that his name? I think this was category was pretty easy. But... Pop up Star Trek, dude. Oh, yes. Tennessee. Uh, John Yelchin. I should be yep. verbal, huh? Because of the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Number three, Tennessee Williams. Yep. Oh, nice. Good job, team. Number four, Audie Murphy. Oh, yes. Yes. Good hey. job. Yeah, I'm very good. One. Number five, Linda oh, Lovelace. Hey. Oh, oh, we thought it was the guy. Oh. Yeah. Number six, Natalie Wood. So pretty. Hey. She was All murdered. Right, this is the one that stumped a lot of people. Ah. Lula Bondi. Come on. Oh. Look at mom. Isn't she great? No idea who that is. Yeah. Me either. <laughs> Steve Lula. Irwin. Oh, this is such a shame. Yeah. What a talent. Harry Houdini, who may or may no, not have wrong. died from peritonitis and Eric not Weiss. being struck in the stomach. Yeah. And Natasha Richardson. Richard. Oh, is that her last name? We put Redgrave. She died? What? Yeah. Well, her mother is Vanessa Redgrave. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, that's Vanessa but in the picture. She died from a skiing accident. Yeah, ran into a tree and then, like, was hurt but went home. Um, and then... Yeah. Succumbed you, later to her injuries. That's Will the thing that we've had for Vanessa Redgrave since we knew that. Sonny Bono also. Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono also did that. But he's no, not an actress. What are the Kennedys do? That was a different tree. Mont Tremblant. Being of dangerous. I believe Natasha died by standing at the bottom of the hill and being hit by a skier. I don't know. Look it up. I don't she think she was. Actually, could be. she didn't collide with anything. She, she, didn't, she, did, anything. she didn't run into a tree. She didn't sunny. run into I'm, anything. She fell I'm getting her mixed up with Sonny Bono out. then. Yes, you are. And I remember oh, one of the Kennedys was throwing a frozen yeah. football back and forth or something. Back and forth, yeah. It was a throwing, throwing yeah. the so ball. I, 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 I recall that because my very first time on a ski slope, I got into an accident like that. I was just standing there, couldn't get out of the way because someone was coming down too fast and sma smashed into me. Oh, you, Did you were die? the guy I hit. Yeah, Did I you died. live? Yeah. Did you live? <laughs> yeah, and everyone knows who uh, she was with. He, I think he's he was totally devastated. He still talks about her. Yeah. Who? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yeah. Talks about her. Oh. Yeah. Her they, they were together. Depression, don't go to sleep. Don't be alone and don't go to sleep. Ever. Yep. Ever. <laughs> ever. Yes, ever. 
Especially if you're tripped by a cat. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> Freddy Krueger will get you. Don't get drunk alone. Mm. Or your cat will. All right, here we go for our for our our um, answers. Leon, Leon, Elon. There you go, Elon Musk. I, I've already forgotten his name. Meet Dunning Kruger. And let's see the fall guys who got did something and something else happened to him. And else happened to him. Six. Very good. You got that right. Thank you. All right. Translunar injection. Injection. Hey. Ooh. Whoa, making the, everybody else look bad so far. Some three people with Vincent A. Nine. Ooh, Ooh making the others look Ooh. bad. Wow. Okay, so our comeback starts right now. We also had nine. Good, oh. not ten. Good. Yeah. Hey, Susan, have you Blackers. have you rigged that so the the winning team is highlighted? Yeah, I do. I am. I am an expert. <laughs> She's an expert stuff. at having other people fix her. Uh, I tell you, people, people contact me from out of the blue. I've got like ten messages sitting here right now saying, "Susan, could you could you please come in and fix my Excel or my <laughs> math problems?" And I'm trying to get the little yellow to show because I watch your videos. Yeah. I watch all your trivia videos. And I think it's amazing how you can do that. So Yeah. You know how Susan did that, Richard? By asking me to fix it. I can do it. Yeah. yeah. I copy the one before, paste it into this. So you do that so wrong Rob, usually, you too. That <laughs> reasonably good at copying things. And that's usually. how I edit Wikipedia. Just you usually. copy the code that works, you paste it, and good change night. the data. Anyway. Who's going? Good night, Carolyn. Hi. Good night. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Where else is Carolyn? Okay, we actually so. have to go ahead. We're, we're going to have to go, too. We got. Oh, no! We're losing. Paul. Paul. We're losing. Paul. Paul's got to go. Paul. Paul and Carolyn got to go work on their training for JCW. <laughs> are you going to? Are you going to have trivia on Thanksgiving? Yes, ma'am. We're probably Starting on Thanksgiving. Don't forget. I, I will definitely Unless not be we there. Have all eighteen of our house guests join us. <laughs> I think it'd be great. There you all go. on one screen. <laughs> we'll have to put everyone else on uh, another team so that we can have the same amount of people. Two, two big teams. Yeah. yeah. No, no, of course. Yeah, of course yeah. we're going to do it. Paul versus everybody else. Somebody wake up yeah. now. Uh, uh, Kevin. Yeah. Wake up. I'm awake. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, moving right along with the Muppet Show. <laughs> it's Our next time to get things is... started. All right, well so done, Caspian, sir. you are you are the man. Go for it. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I had a category tonight. Uh, give me a second. I had a category. I, I announced it. it. <laughs> joking. Okay, while Caspian's doing that, why don't we talk about next week? That's a great idea. Thank you for that segue there, Karen. Mm -hmm. Almost as if I, we had an intuitive moment. It's because we're living mm -hmm. on the same street. So next week is Thanksgiving, as we were talking about. And I think that we should play a game of trivia on Thursday because we've done it the last two Thursdays. That's never been done before. You know how we are. So we have next week, I have already heard from Aaron. I've heard from Gail. I've heard from Carl. And I've heard from Mr. Palmer. And I'm just waiting for a bonus. That's all I'm waiting for. I'll take the bonus. Oh, Robin, with the Thanksgiving, can you do this? I am. I have no Thanksgiving invitations. <gasps> I think my Thanksgiving is going to involve sitting home alone oh, with my husband, watching, watching drinking, drinking uh, copious you amounts of turn, wine, something like that. Oh, if you get any now, you have to turn them down. <laughs> I know. Right? For those right. of us who have no family close by, it's nice to have this. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so. um, my daughter was talking about uh, we're probably going to do it in her backyard with uh, propane heaters to keep warm. And so I might end up coming home and I'll play. All right. We'll take you. Yeah, I might join late because I'll be at a Thanksgiving dinner. It depends upon what time I get back. Be comatose 
with turkeyitis. I'm a toast. And Robin, <laughs> if something comes up, if Robin, and yeah. you um, and you do something else, I could deliver your category for you if you want. Okay. I got it. I got to leave. I'm sorry. Okay. Bye, Mono. Bye, Mono. Mono. Bye, Mono. 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 See you, Mono. Bye. Great to see you, Mono. See all of you too. Bye. Come back again. We just lost two teammates. Oh yes, well, that's we all right. Oh, yeah, that's a chance, chance though. <laughs> oh, you just have to uh, make sure that you know the answers. You'll have Ooh. to muddle through somehow. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're losing Wendy too. She's almost out. <laughs> I'm awake, sort of. No, I'm passing Absolutely. out. I need to go lie down. It'll be safer from there. <laughs> well, I have fun tonight. Glad to don't, see everybody. Don't Happy Thanksgiving. Your cat. Don't trip over your cat on your way. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a dog. Don't get punched in the gut and lie down either. No. Mm. Bad idea. Wear a long scarf Don't let your cat punch arm. you in the gut, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. Don't go fishing with Robin Wagner. All right. Mm. You all ready? Yeah. Yes. Well done, Caspian. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that I had a category. So you get the category that I had prepared at some point when I was bored. <laughs> oh, this is the board category is it board so games this is the one that those of you who did do trivia on the psycon conference week should have done their research about because they should have known it was coming oh boy uh oh, uh -oh. oh. <laughs> we're doing black sabbath from 1980 to oh, 2017 oh no uh oh <laughs> <laughs> oh dear is this I a movie really answer is, this a mo is this a movie this is a satanic one of the questions last week or three I did ago. watch that, that Shabbos it will it help me on this category Shabbos in the ghetto yeah the, yeah, the sequel yeah, Shabbos in the ghetto <laughs> the sequel. okay go for it all right question one Oh, hold on. I got to mute the planet. <laughs> Question one. Who replaced Ozzy Osbourne as a singer of Black Sabbath in 1980 after he left Richie Blackmore's Rainbow? Question two. The song Mob Rules from the album of the same name was on the soundtrack of what 1981 cult film? Question three. Black Sabbath changed singers again in 1982. What singer, again connected to Richie Blackmore, joined? Doesn't he have a wonderful voice? I think so. It's just sweet. Yeah. So does the answer to question three. Question four. <laughs> What did Black Sabbath infamously model their stage set for the 1983 Born Again tour after? Was it a porn thing? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Question five. The original lineup reunited for one show in 1985. What event was this for? Question six, 1989's Headless Cross featured a guest guitar solo by what famous guitarist, also known for his academic pursuits and custom-built guitar? Question seven, the song Time Machine from the album Dehumanizer was featured in what 1992 comedy film? Question eight, the tour for that album saw Black Sabbath singer quit when the band agreed to open for Ozzy Osbourne's retirement shows. What other iconic British heavy metal singer also from Birmingham stepped in as a replacement? Question nine, 
Black Sabbath reunited with Ozzy in 1997 on a permanent basis, but no new albums were released until 2013. In the mid-2000s, Tony Iommi and Geezer Butler wanted to release new music with the singer who quit in the previous question, without splitting the band up again. They formed a new band, which they named after their first album together, released in 1980. What was the name of the album and band? And question 10, who is the only member of Black Sabbath to appear on all of its recordings? Who knew there was so much drama with Black Sabbath? My gosh, well, it has Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's only half of the drama. Yeah, that's, uh, there was even more drama after he left. Must Better have been all, the, all those uh, bad... Uh, you can do it, Kevin. Things. Get up and do jumping jacks. It was the boxes of cocaine from the 70s. Boxes. Yeah, that may have been that, too. Send me to my room. <laughs> Somebody would keep him awake. I'm going to room four. I get to be Caspian. All right. Okay. Susan, what are the answers? Okay, so it's uh, number one. Wait, well, let me let you guys take a chance first and, and give All me right. Right. And now, Susan, what are the answers? <laughs> Janine's got these, doesn't she? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you fill them in first. Cindy, I you think the, that you know for the answer to number... I have no idea. I okay. Think the to number Caspian? <laughs> All right, wait. Let me think about this. Who replaced Ozzy? All right. the singer of Who was the, the guitarist in the band Queen? Brian May. That's the only guitarist I can think of instantly. Oh, you're on question six, six, man. You guys are, you're rocking. No, we're not. That's just the only one I know. Or guessing. Okay. Uh, uh, well, number one, I don't know. Number two, I don't know. Number three, I don't know. Number four, I don't know. Number five, I don't know. Number six, I'm guessing Brian May. Number seven, I don't know. Number eight, I don't know. Number nine, I don't know. Number 10, I don't know. So there you go. Your turn, Susan. Okay, so let me look. I don't know number one. Okay, Mob Rules. Mob Rules was on the album. I have this. Mob Rules! It's on the soundtrack of 19 cold film. Film! We need a name of a cult film. 1981. Oh, Spinal Tap. Yeah. Could that be it? Uh, I don't think they were mocking the, uh, or mocking the heavy metal stuff and yeah okay that all right we'll try all right. Fire. change singers again in 19 he was a singer again connect to richie blackmore i never followed the band i don't have any other okay, albums did, but, yeah well, i mean i i well what did bs infamously model their stage set for again Model their stage. What? Okay. What could you model a stage set for? What question is that? For born what, what are ideas like? Okay, in Spinal Tap, they they used like Stonehenge. Yeah. Oh. So okay. So what could you? That would be a really, cathedral. A cathedral. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a born again tour. I mean, I'm just throwing a nursery out there. A, a baby's nursery. Should we put church? <laughs> or no? Okay. The original Black Sabbath lineup recruited for one show. What event was? Oh, could it have been one of those hunger shows? Like um, Feed America or. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Those. We are the world. Oh. You know, something Light like it. There you go. Light Light Light. Okay. Number seven, the song Time Machine from the album Dehumanizers is featured in what 1992 comedy film? Okay. Could that be like Home Alone or a comedy film in 92? Uh, a Christmas story? No. Um, Home Alone would be about the right age, right? All right. Yep. I think so. <laughs> I can't believe you're letting me do all these. <laughs> okay. Well, because we have nothing better than you answered. <laughs> oh, shit. No pressure. <laughs> the Humanizer tour saw um, Black Sabbath singer quit when the band agreed to open for Ozzy's retirement shows. Okay, wait. Caspian, they're making me do all the answers. <laughs> Richard got one, and then now they're just letting me answer them. This is scary. I got two. Okay. Oh, you did two. Yeah. Three, but I don't know if they're correct. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you okay? Which ones? Oh, you did Brian May, and oh yeah, Live you, Aid, and you I came put up Church. Live, Live Aid. Okay. I put Church, and I don't know. Okay, saw so his singer quit when the band agreed to open for Ozzy's retirement shows. What well, kind of British? Um, was singer. God, I have a really trouble with the names. I'm much well, better with the British stories. heavy metal scene. British heavy metal scene. Uh, I know Freddie Mercury. He wasn't a heavy metal <laughs> singer. Don't really piss off jazz band. Um. Okay, Renata Malazian, 1997, a permanent basis. Okay, so they're looking for the name of the band, right? On number nine. Um, what is the name? What was it? Okay, want to release new music without splitting it up. They formed a new band named after their first album together from 1980. What was the name of the band that had Ozzy Osbourne? I I, I couldn't even guess. A band. Named after a record or a or an album. Named after their first album. I don't know. Oh, the I, traveling mulberries. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caspian's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. Who was the only member of the Black Sabbath or I have a feeling nobody's going to do really well. What am I talking about? Of You're course. probably right. So I'm not too worried, but it's a very um, specific uh, lot of questions. Okay. Can we name a British singer that is not Freddie Mercury? <laughs> not Elsie Osborne. I don't know. I, I can't think of a British heavy metal singer. Oh, oh, what are we talking about? Of course, like what? Robert Plant. See, he, he's British. He heavy, but he wasn't heavy metal. Yeah. Um, um, I just went and saw. What did I just go see? I never listened much to heavy metal, so I'm, I'm not very good. Oh, at I have, let me think. How's he the singer of Black Sabbath? Ooh, could it be Joni Mitchell? <laughs> Boy, that's, those are wild guesses. Um, oh, why don't we just call it Singer X? It was the ma or the Mass Singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Richie Blackmore. 
I remember mm -hmm. him. Richard, come on, help me out here. I don't. I, I don't know. This Richie is Blackmore metal. connected to Richie Blackmore. Yeah. Oh, that heavy guy metal. who did. It's not my thing. Dun the London, dun the London, dun the London. No. What? <laughs> Gary Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Robert Plant. That's Robert Plant again, huh? Mark's asleep. I can't ask him these. But but Led Zeppelin are more. Um, they're not heavy metal. I wouldn't call. Jethro Tall. So where do you want me to put that? <laughs> where the sun don't shine. Huh. Jethro Tolls a band, isn't it? Not a singer. Yeah. Um... I'll put it here because we've got nothing. Guns and Roses. Bad Samaritan. Hey, Bad that's American band. Good. Well, at least we've got answers for some of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who could have been on all the recordings of Black Sabbath? It can't be Ozzy Osbourne because we know he's not in it for a while. Well, he came up with Brian May on one of them. He can guess yeah, Brian May. I guess I'm, it's a guess simply because He's a famous guitarist, also known for his academic pursuits, because he's got a degree in astrophysics, I think. Oh, well, there you go. That's the answer. So, did he write okay. any books? Brian May, did he write any science books? Um, He could have. He's At least he's published papers, because he's he's, um, he has know, a he's an academic in that. Yeah. Yeah. He was the guitarist for Queen, for Freddie Mercury. Oh. oh. Okay. So, not Brian May. Which not, is not, not Brian May. By the way, hmm? he's called oh. Brain May. By the way, oh, did I? Bra oh, there he's yeah. Brainy Guy. There you go. Yeah, I'm always oh, doing we're doing really of... well. Brain May, that's it. I'm not unhappy. Okay. I mean, it's 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 um, we got one more, we got the bonus round after this, Susan. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm enjoying this. I found a new supply. Y'all stuck? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Okay. Actually, we're yeah. stuck a lot. Did did other did other people get stuck? I think everybody's petering out at about the same area. So okay, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We were we were trying to think. Um, I think we made a couple good guesses. I mean, they're not. Except for the they're not, bad. <laughs> they're not bad. It's all right. I, I I like the Home Alone. I think that and the Live Aid that makes sense. Spinal Tap. Those all make sense. It's the people's names. I I can't do. All right. Good job, team. All right. You can do it, Janine. Wendy can stay up. You can. I'm really tired. Oh, Dickie! Slap me if I Slap throw you. some throw something at me if I fall asleep. So, oh Who's Susan, you? that's the cat. If you listen to the Easter eggs, you'll hear this cat. Meow, 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 meow. That's Henrietta. Hello, Henrietta. <laughs> Whenever I come in here, I keep getting reminded of something. Yeah. What that yeah. is. Yeah. The Muppets? No. <sighs> Janine's home. I miss I miss the voice that her uh computer yeah. would say when oh, yeah. Was, uh was yes. Yeah. You're bad. Yeah. It's rude. Okay. okay. Kevin managed to make it clear. Yeah. Susan managed to remove her parasite, I see. <laughs> That's why I did really well in this category, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Team. 
no is Adrian still here? Zapping your brain power. You're going to sleep. Adrian, Janine, are you there? People Susan are falling off the planet. People Susan didn't asleep. remove her parasite. It's gone internal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it burrowed its way in. <laughs> Go for it, Caspian. Wake us up. It's but like the thing won. that is the parasite. Da, 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 da. Question one. The answer is Johnny Jam's Yes. I can't hear you. What? Yay, Karen. What? You sounded sounded weak. What's the answer? Ronnie James Dio. Oh, I remember him. Can you put the answers in the chat? They will come at the end. And that's the answer to many of the questions on this. <laughs> According to our team. Anyway. I hope so. <laughs> we yeah, we hope so too. <laughs> and we kept putting Ronnie James Dio, Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> well, even, even at the background of the, of the stage set. If you're going by tenure, you would have gotten three, but sadly. Uh, question two. The cult film from 1981 was Heavy Metal. Yes. Good, good one. Oh, good I saw time. that. At one point. We put Home Alone. <laughs> no, no, no. It was an we, we put Spinal a movie, Tap. A mostly meant to be watched put, while you're high. We, yeah. we put Spinal Tap. Question three. Next singer was Ian Gillen of Deep Purple. Oh. I love Deep Purple. Did you get uh, that question right? No, but I really love Deep Purple. Are we sure it wasn't Ronnie James Dio part two? <laughs> Again. I love Purple Rain. No, he quit in a hush, so they had to get somebody in a... Uh, Question four. The stage set was infamously modeled after Stonehenge. Uh, No, that was for Spinal Tap. No, Spinal Tap was making fun of the... the Yeah. We put a church. Will that work? No. That's what we put, too. Ancient church. wanted a stage set in feet, and the person who wrote it down accidentally wrote it in meters. Oops. So they got a stage set that was three times too large. Nice. No, I thought, oh, wait. Wait, wait yeah. Yeah. Spinal Tap went the other way. Oh, Spinal Tap yeah. wrote it in yeah. inches. Yeah. That was yeah. a parody yeah. to this. I had no idea. <laughs> what? The thing in Spinal Tap was a direct parody to. Yeah, yeah I didn't know to... that. I, I, didn't know. I was wondering about that. We said Stonehenge, but then we said, okay, it can't be Stonehenge. That's Spinal Tap. No. <laughs> they did. They no just had to see yeah, who they off. were or what they were doing, but their legend lives on. <laughs> <laughs> Those little people of Stonehenge. <laughs> Oh, how they dance. I, I want to watch it again. We should just watch it again. We'll have <laughs> trivia. We'll just play. I predict Alan hasn't seen it and he won't like it. Alan? 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 More of a mighty wind guy. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. I just got stuck with something here. Have you seen Spinal Tap? I saw though I've been never sat through the whole thing. I guess <laughs> oh, so the answer I guess would have to be no. I'm writing okay. it down. I'm gonna watch that again someday. I, that one I have to see. That one I do have to see. Yeah, it's it's great. Technically it's you have to watch it by after time. eleven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it goes it goes yeah. up to eleven. November, yeah. Oh November eleventh already went past us. Damn. I mean it's better it, I'm assuming it's better than the Blues Brothers. So I I'll I'll give it a try. Oh my how, God! How no, dare you? Been, They're just too different from each other. How could you pick one over the other? Easily. What was the other thing I was going to watch? I can't find the paper with it on. The scores. Question. <laughs> <five. laughs> anyway, number five. Question five. <laughs> this event was live. A- yes. Yay. Yay. Good one, Jane. Job, so Richard came up with the name. Question I knew it was six. one of those things. This famous guitarist is Brian May. Yes, oh, yes. Right. another score yes. by Richard Saunders from Australia. Question seven: This movie was Wayne's World. Yes, uh, that's the one we put Home Alone. <laughs> Home Alone two within nineteen ninety two. Good job, team. I can't figure out where my cursor. Question eight. Was Rob Halford of Judas Priest? Oh, oh. oh. Who was replacing Ronnie James Dio. 
No, no, no. That. What if we put the lead singer from Judas Priest? If you actually did, I will give it to you. <laughs> I, oh, nice. Oh, we we should have just we did that. that. We couldn't we think of his the name. Lead of Judas Priest. We had <laughs> it. We just yeah. didn't have his name. I am. Darn it. Question nine. This album and this band were named Heaven and Hell. Oh, we didn't we write something like yeah, that? Yeah, like that's I think what we did said. too. Didn't we write that, Richard? We discussed sure, it. Indeed. Unfortunately, I remember it writing was that. Black Sabbather. <laughs> <laughs> that is not correct. And question 10, the only member to appear on all of its recordings is guitarist Tony Iommi. Yes! yes! Good choice, yes, Brandy. Random guess. Damn it. Good, Brandy. I made sure to leave his name in the question for that purpose. We took, we took the other name because Geezer is a better name. Geezer. Oh, I didn't get that there was a bunch of people's names that we could have just taken one of those <laughs> from question nine and put it in question 10. Gee, that would have been smart. Our odds would have been 50 50. Who's paying attention? Nobody's. All right, let's go to scores. That was illuminating, Caspian. We should have got Stonehenge. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, I, like I, that that, I, like... I thought about it, but I didn't even say it out loud. Why did they name it Born Again and then decorate their set as Stonehenge? They were yeah. stone because they thought it would be cool. <laughs> That's literally the answer. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm dying to see the You're scores. not sharing. I know. I was trying to get the answers. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Van's not out yet. We want to see Everyone's these Excel like, chop, chop, skills. Susan, let's go. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. I'm doing the, the flourish. Okay. So Elon Musk, meet Dunning-Kruger. We had two. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. The fall guys who were looking for Black Sabbath in a hole in Winchester. Looking for week two. <laughs> Caspian's team, we tie. All right. <laughs> okay. Translunar injection. Punch and two. Judy. Oh, I mean two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Some three guys ending in A. Six. Uh, no. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. If he's giving us the lead wait. singer of Judas Priest, we got seven. Oh. You got to be kidding me. Seven. Okay. <laughs> How was that? Who's on your wow. team? Kevin? Smart oh, people. Kevin. Was it Leonard? No, it was me. Yeah. It was uh, me. It was all Leonard. Alan. Alan. Alan oh, yeah, I had one. Alan's our musician, so that's yeah. Oh man. Okay, our comeback starts right here. Six. <gasps> Ooh. We beat somebody. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Your average is 3.8. Thank you, Caspian. Wow. That was Wow. Interesting. <laughs> I, and I like those categories. Unfortunately, I have to go. But Aww, we were just going to do uh, Calgary well, trivia. Good to, good, see, good, good to see everybody. Bye. Good to see Bye. you. Bye. I'm, I'm glad see the questions went better tonight. So. Yeah, yeah, they're they're good. Great. Really good category. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Karen, where are you? Um, I can't find Karen on the screen. Is Karen on the screen? She left. Is that yeah, Janice? Is. The lead yeah, Janice is, is yeah. Karen. She's just not there. Okay. Well, this will be an interesting bonus with her not here. Find 10 objects in the black screen that represents Karen tonight. <laughs> Name 10. Go. <laughs> is that a cow I see in a in a in a is this the bonus category? Right? Yeah, in the black. Yeah. The cow it's is in a, the black. It's a negative image of a golf ball in a snowstorm. It's a, it's, okay, she's logging back in now. I think it's an eclipse when you've got your eyes closed. Mm. It's, okay. um, or when, if you left your glasses on. Yeah. I know someone that did that. <clears throat> uh-huh. 
or yeah um, it's an eclipse when you forgot to poke a hole through the through the paper that you're it's it's, it's pre socks very 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 black it's the cover of the spinal tap black album it's black sabbath how many we got who's keeping score and the chicken has an answer too he keeps, he keeps pecking men you know really? why I don't know, maybe because he needs to be asleep and keeping him up or something. It's rude. Is Karen gone? She says she's logging back in right now. Oh, okay. So hey, if, for anybody who's local by me, I am now doing, uh, I'm working at selling <laughs> my skills to scan photos and enhance them and organize them for you for a fee. So if you and get that done, make I amazing can... uh, spreadsheets. <laughs> well, that's, that's, I still do that for free. Okay. With the photo stuff, I'm, I'm doing it for, for money now so that I can make money because okay. I gave away all my spreadsheet information. I mean, how many times can you teach the <laughs> formula? Just saying, if you need anything done. She's going to be doing something. mine. I'm going to be doing Robin's as soon. Soon, as soon as I gather them all up. Very soon. Presumably, you could teach a formula, you know, over and over again about once a semester. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. I wanted to ask Caspian something. Go ahead. We're excited. You, have you ever seen the Black Sabbath cartoon? I am unaware of the existence of such thing. Okay. Do you remember on Saturday Night Live they used to have um, Saturday TV or TV Funhouse, a little Robert yeah. Smigel. Animated I'm aware of the existence of such thing. There was a short-lived uh, series. I think there's 13 episodes on uh, Comedy Central called Saturday TV Funhouse. It was like a yeah. half-hour version of that. And at one in one they do a Black Sabbath cartoon, which was kind of reminded me of the uh, Beatles cartoon that was on in Saturday mornings in the 60s. And uh, it had uh, yeah, the Ozzy and president too. <laughs> yeah yeah they do oh it's crazy i've got it i've got the whole thing got, on, on dvd i've got but... a signed copy of the ambiguously gay duo yes <laughs> so if you get a, i don't know i don't know if it's online anywhere uh, but if you get a chance look it up i think you'll get a kick out of it it'll be funny i'm sure everything else yeah, it does yeah, is funny i'll it's bring good. up a copy when you come up to visit of what? Are you here now yeah yeah Aaron here Yes. All right. Karen, we already did your category. You know what we did? <laughs> your screen had your name and it just was pure black. So we named 10 things that were in, on your screen. 10 okay. things that are Yay. all black. Eclipse. I don't have mm -hmm. no. Very black socks by pre, pre socks. Okay. So here's a bonus, bonus category then. Okay. Oh. So um, thank you. I'm so sorry about that. And it just started like updating, but I don't have it. I have it set not to do automatic updates. They can be really pushy. Okay. Published in March of 2022, Billboard's list of the 50 greatest album covers of all time reaches back to Elvis Presley's self-titled debut and goes up to present day. I'm going to give you 16 of them. Match the numbered covers, album covers, to the letters listing the titles and each one's year of release. Oof, so I'm, I'm gonna give you uh, links to the pictures. I'm gonna show you the pictures and I'm going to put it in, um, in the chat here. Okay, so here we go. So the numbered artists that you're going to get here, and I'll also give you a visual to go with this. The artists are Janet, one, Janet Jackson, two, Fleetwood Mac, three, No Doubt, four, Aretha Franklin, with her sec making her second appearance tonight, five, Cardi B, six, Joni Mitchell, seven, Nicki Minaj, eight, Madonna, nine, Janis Joplin, 10, Grace Jones, 11, Cyndi Lauper, 12, Lady Gaga, 13 Hole, 14 Patti Smith, 15 Taylor Swift, and 16 Funk Adelic. Now, um, here's cool. the link to an image I'm going to show you right now. 
Now, what I did is I took the um, album covers and I uh, cut out the title. So some of you, so some of you, if I can share screen right now, share. So some of you will be looking at the, the amount of space that's there and trying to figure it out that way, right? Yeah, like Kevin does. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a hole there. It's a gap there, but it's, um, how do I move down here? Yeah, see, there's, there, I just literally cut out the, um, the title, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to give you a little hint in, uh, and then here are the letters, right? And I'll put the list in the chat as well. The, the, the name of the album, and the year of release is A, Tragic Kingdom, B, Rhythm Nation, 1814, C, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Loved You, D, Rumors, E, Horses, and the word horses appears twice. That's the hint, even though it's just, that's just the name. F, The Fame Monster, G, The Pink Print, print H, A Hijira, I, Invasion of Privacy, J, Island Life, K, um, 1989, I live through this M maggot brain N true blue O she's so unusual and P pearl. So I'm going to give you those uh, in the um, chat as well. So in case people like to figure things out a different way. So these so, are great album covers. I know. Isn't that surprising? Yeah, so, I'm a bit shocked. This is the best. Okay. So I'm so, sorry. The goal is to match the artist to the album cover. Yeah. So what you're going to huh. do is right here, you've got, you've got the names, the numbers of different artists, right? And then you've got letters and the year they were released. You've also got visual cues that I'm going to, I mean, I gave you, I'm going to give you a link here to the image I'm showing you. So you can, um, so you can pull up the images and kind of look look at it and see how much space was cut out. Boy, you're gonna really help us. But you only need ten. You only but need I mean, most of these my question. names of the artist on them. Yeah. You only need ten. But most of these yeah. have the name of the artist on them. Don't but tell you her. have to know what the name of the album is, and I feel bad for some of you. Yeah, yeah, you're looking for you're looking for matching the name of the artist with the name of the album. So you have to figure out the name of the album to go with the artist. Right. Okay. So I, I'm confused about the 16. Are we just picking 10? And, and yes, uh, you're just picking the 10 that you believe you know. Okay. Yeah. Pick your best 10. Okay. okay. Pick your best 10. And okay, not, we can do this. And it's not Mono's rules. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not Mono's rules. Darn it. Because okay. he left. Does it make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. Yep. Thanks, okay. Karen. Got it. Mono's knocking, the door. Mono's knocking on the door. Mono's knocking on the door. Put him in. <laughs> okay, go to your rooms then, wonderful people. Karen, you should have your powers. Let me see. Are you? No, maybe you don't because you left. Let me give you your powers. Hold on. I got to wait until it's uh, make co host. There you are. You're, as people leave the room, your image moves to another room. <laughs> So I'm trying to get you. Okay, go for it. Let me go screw up your team. Thank and you. Hello, all team. Hello. Cindy Lopper is she's so unusual. So that's O. Oh, awesome. Let's see. Is Lady Gaga is that correct or is that not? Lady right? Gaga is. Is it the? Patty Smith is horse this way. Is which? Who are you asking? Patty Smith is horses. Okay, oh, I don't see Lady Gaga's on here. Patty yeah. Smith. Well, a monster. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a guess. That's the one I'm unsure of. The other ones, I I was pretty sure on. So, which Patty, one did you say, Jane? Again, I'm sorry. Patty Smith is E horses. E, thank you. So, twelve F could be wrong. But it's a long title and that's a long bar. So, well, uh, 
the fame monster. I don't know. I, I, I took a picture. Let me let me look at the, my picture. Yeah, I'm just sharing the answers. I can. I figured everyone could pull up the the picture. But if you need me to share oh, the picture, let me know. Rumors? Do you have? Oh, you already got that. Yeah, oh. I got. I got rumors. That's the one I knew. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and you have? Do you have the Rhythm Nation? Yep. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, and do you have Pearl? Do you have the Jan uh, Janice Joplin Pearl? I do not. Okay, let me see which one that. Is. Um, let's Pearl see. P. P is Janice Joplin. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. You have the No Doubt one. Yep. Okay. Um, and you got that one. Let's see. Madonna. Anyone know what the name of the Madonna album is? Oh, let's see. That thing looks familiar. Yeah. I was looking at that too. Was it though. True Blue? Was that the Madonna one? Let's see. Know. What's the year on that? 86. I think the year fits. And the cover's kind of blue. That seems that thing looks familiar. familiar. So true blue is N. So we'll put that for now. Taylor I Swift. I saw that album cover a ton of times in Target, but I don't listen to Taylor Swift. So is Funkadelic Maggot Brain? Uh Funkadelic. Let me look at that. I'm just looking at the album cover and it just seems to make sense to me. Yeah, it could be. Uh, and Aretha Franklin, I should know that. Let me look at that. Yeah, I'm looking, trying to trying to go based on the years because like Aretha Cardi Franklin, B is I recent. Think is C, I never loved a band the way I loved you. Oh, and that's a pretty long, uh, yeah, that's pretty yeah. large white album. So. God, what is that number seven? That looks so stupid. What is that? A so broken you said C, out? right, Carl? I never loved a e, band. Correct, the way I loved Charlie. You. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Oh, that's Nicki Minaj. That's her title. Oh, that's a stupid looking thing. Is whole lived through this? Hmm? Hmm. I don't know. You know, the year looks the year good. sounds right. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the... that sounds right. Okay, let's do that. And again, that's 10 if depending upon how confident we are. But I mean, we could just keep going and then yeah. by process of elimination and then pick the ones we feel the most comfortable with. That's so L. that was L. Yeah. Okay, what the hell you. is Grace Jones doing there? Because she had an album. But Cardi I mean, look B. at that. What, what the hell? She, what's she doing in that picture? She's being Grace Jones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but what's what's the deal with the blue mat on the floor and the in the it just looks so yeah. So she, would Cardi B funny. Given Would that Grace Jones is weird and strange, nothing. Invasion of privacy. Enough. That's the one of the most recent ones on there. How could this Patty Smith album be one of the best album covers ever? Or or the Nicki well, Minaj one? I mean, really? These are awful. Where's your Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart? So Heart so, so as, as a note, the, these are these are 16 of the 50 greatest, not necessarily the top 16. Oh, the but 16 these got to be like the lowest. The I mean, they got to be tied to number 50 or something. Well, she, like, God, there's nothing. Maybe she has a personal attachment to these albums. You no, need to be the nice, billboard. Susan. They're <laughs> awful. I mean, look at them. Perhaps she picked the 16 most distinctive ones to her. Well, yeah. look, look, it could be. Hey, the, there's nothing wrong with Cindy Lauper. How could Lauper they get on the top 50? Or Madonna. They're not. Maybe, maybe she picked only the women on the list. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. true. Okay, wait, wait. I get it. These are all. She women. picked sixteen, Karen, of these top fifty. Is it they're the most iconic, or these are creative for design? That's my question for the Billboard. Do we know? Yeah, I don't know. It says greatest album covers of all time. So I'm wondering, do they mean? Iconic. I mean, like Janice Joplin, that's iconic, right? Madonna, that's iconic. Cindy Lauper one's definitely iconic. Yes, definitely. Yes. Maybe even Lady Gaga. But as far as good? Well, 
So play, play with math. That's all it's, like a subject, it's a subjective list. So what you're arguing is with their subjective criteria. But it's stupid. <laughs> well, I look. look at Janice Jop, uh, Janice, Janet Jackson. She's that, that breaks all the rules of photography. You don't look off into the edge of a. No, you turn and they look towards the middle. You're cracking me up, Susan. No, but that's wrong. It Susan, looks Susan. Look at number they're three. Being, they're being know. artistic. The photography are meant to be broken. No, look at number yes. three. Doesn't number three look like it's something from the old South, like a what's it called? A um Yeah, like a like an ad for an old uh product that you get from the convenience store or something. Yeah, but it looks like they need to have like a a, a Confederate flag in there somewhere. Yeah, we need, we need to we need to finish up so I can tell my most embarrassing no doubt story that Carl already knows about. <laughs> Who's no doubt? Oh, that's them. Yeah. I mean, Cardi B, give it's me a hell. fucking break. Um. Well, this was back off. when I was working at Best Buy. Wait, wait. Tell it when we get in the front. I could. Yeah, tell it to everybody. And it's being recorded, so <laughs> people. Will find I mean, out. look, I saw look. no doubt at the Elks Lodge out here. They're opening for another band back when they had their horn section oh cool yeah i like horns I've never heard them, them, right like them. them and a band called dance hall crashers is pretty cool look cardi b look at that picture her hands are cut off every photographer ever knows you do not cut off at the at the joints it just like at the knees or the elbow you don't do that that looks like her hands have been <laughs> well. If you're just going to talk about how bad all the pictures are, I'm going to tell my story because no, because I want like, to wait. Your... Let everybody see it. Dude, uh, well, the, when the group's the that very... big, it's so hard to. I mean, I okay, guess... go ahead and tell us your story because we're recording. All right, everybody, um, let's so, gather around the campfire. Yes, I was working at Best Buy in the tech shop, and I, I was talking to a customer and needed to look something up, and so I put them on hold so I could go check on something. But I didn't actually put him on hold. I just set the phone down and forgot he was on hold. And the music that was playing at the time that I was singing along to just happened to be out of any No Doubt song. It was I'm Just a Girl. So the guy who I forgot about and left on hold was listening to me singing I'm Just a Girl. And then the manager has to walk in and be like, uh, did you leave someone on hold and forget about them? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, God uh and he heard you singing while he was on hold and i'm like holy crap so i get back on the phone with this guy and apologize profusely but he's just laughing at me and he's all like don't worry about it he's like it was very entertaining hearing you sing i'm just a girl as i was uh, waiting on hold so yes what is like, what is uh, i'm just a girl what does it sound like i've never heard uh, of i don't i can't even tell you no 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 you do know I do not. I it. refuse. We're being you recorded. Know, you refuse. just told us you were singing it for some I was. That was going to be a danger of this to be demonetized. <laughs> yes, exactly. If oh, I sing it, your on. video will be demonetized. <laughs> that's I'm a very, that that's a very cute twice, Susan. You you're gonna have to sing that to us someday. <laughs> no. Yes, we'll 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 make yes, sure. No, we'll, we'll just say I was I'm uh, adding it to my very, bucket list. I was very red faced and uh <laughs> yeah. Completely Is embarrassed, but the guy was just very a girl understanding. Who can't say no. No, um, he was very understanding that I left him on hold and forgot about him and and serenaded him, uh, talking about how I was just a girl. Yeah. Have you ever heard? Have you guys? Are you fans of Red of um, Father Ted? Father Ted. Do I'm Father familiar Ted? with Father Ted. How could you not be fans of know. Father Ted? But what they do is, is they're, it's all Catholic stuff. Yeah. And and so they call these nuns because they need to get a nun to come in and and like punish them and stuff. So they'll stick to their uh, their what's it called that they promised during the Lent, you know. They say they're going to give up something. Yeah, you give okay. up something for Lent. Yeah. So they're calling this this nunnery. And when they call, they get a nun and you can see them. You can see the like. They call on the phone, they pick up the phone, and then you can see the nunnery. It's a split screen, and this woman, she picks up the phone. It's a nun. And she and they said, 
you know, I need to talk to Miss Sister Mary Elizabeth Margaret or whatever. And she goes, okay, one moment, I'm going to put you on hold. And when she puts them on hold, all she does is she sits there and goes, oh, babe. <laughs> the song she's they're not really on hold <laughs> and then she connects them to the mother sister mary whatever her name is and then and then the mother sister mary says oh i have to put you back on hold and they're like oh no <laughs> so then she comes up oh <laughs> that's, kind of that's like, awesome anyway i guess you had to be there jane do you know what i'm talking about well, I haven't I haven't seen that, but I understand what you're saying in the story, and it's funny. <laughs> Somebody thought of us funny tonight. That's good. So are we happy with our answers? We do have 10 guesses. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I feel I'll put it in the, confident. I'll put it, I'll put it in here. And you guys can look at this because you know. Okay. You're adding it. You're sending it to us in chat? Yeah. Okay. Apparently. I hope this works. It looks like it's a bad copy, but you'll get the idea. Okay. Cool. I, I mean, I could guess I on Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, but I could get them backwards because they're both artists from around the same time. And yeah. I would just be guessing based on the years. So, yeah. Mark. I mean, I, first, I, I feel pretty comfortable. Mark. A Mark's first. Oh, I can't say because we're recorded. Oh, okay. You can stop recording. But it was Madonna related. So wow. hopefully next year, Susan, um, I'll actually be able to attend the convention and maybe okay. I'll sing to you in we person. Go, we go to we this time we spent two days in um, Wendy's room because we're like, where should we go? I'm like, we're gonna go to Wendy's room. <laughs> I I was there for a lot of time because you know I'm just weird. I thought your room was typically the hangout. Susan. No, because I had Mark and he was taking a nap. I can't. Oh, okay. so, you gotta let no, the poor we man went sleep. to we went to Wendy's room. Wendy and Paula. Oh my god, it was hilarious. We just were like, all right, everybody go to Wendy's. <laughs> Hi, Jane. You need to get like a suite that has Jane like the knows. separate kid bedroom, and then you just kick Mark into the kid bedroom. What happens in Wendy's room? <laughs> Yeah. And there was a lot that happened in Wendy's room, huh, Carl? Uh, Carl was I, there. I'm bummed. I, I really would have liked to was, join you guys. Brandy was there. We still being recorded? Ave Marie. Okay, Karen. Karen, before we start, I have to ask a question. <laughs> This is very important. Okay. It said these are the billboard. Let me look. Let me look at the word. The yes, billboard. I know you're finding the photography atrocious. <laughs> yes. Okay. We, we, we spent most of our time uh, with uh, Susan telling us how terrible the album yes, covers I gave were. reasons why. So I want to know, are these supposed to be the greatest album covers of all time? part of this is 16 of the 50 because they're iconic or because they're good um billboard did not say i read the entirety of their spiel but if you all i i, I don't think i agree with you i don't think they're the best album covers of all time they're 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 pretty bad well patty smith her portrait was taken by Robert Mapplethorpe. It's Patty Smith. Yeah. yeah, Patty Smith, number 14. But that's not Maples or anybody could have taken that freaking picture. Stan against a stupid wall. They, they, they cut the they cut Taylor, they cut the top of Taylor Swift. It's bizarre. That's Susan's bizarre. like, I took better photos in my sleep. I, I'm not a photographer and I take better photos. It's just bizarre. I Look at so this one. So pissed if I was one Where's of the artists who made the good ones, and these she people looks were, like she looks like you know who she looks like. She looks like that Trump picture of uh, Jenna J J J J J J Trump, the one that had the sleeves down with no hands. So <laughs> looking looking at album covers as art, art should elicit strong opinion and emotion. It seems like these have done that. For it you. certainly has yeah. for Susan, that's for sure. Especially I mean, Joni Mitchell. Emotion. 
I mean, most uh, of them suck. Good, Garen. That's exactly right. We're going to okay, have a okay. conversation. Iconic. So the first one is yes. supposed to look like a Polaroid, and it's got that look. I'm going to give you the answers now. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. And I'll also put them in the chat in a moment. Okay, so number one is Rhythm Nation 1814. That's 1B. Yeah. Janet Jackson. Two, Fleetwood Mac Rumors, D from 1977. Three, uh, No Doubt, Tragic Kingdom. Three oh. is A from 1995. Four is C. Uh, Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You from 67, Aretha Franklin. Five is Cardi B, uh, Something Privacy, I, um, from 2018. I can't read the pink word right now. Um, six is Joni Mitchell. Um, that is from 1976. I hope some of you got that. Uh, Hijari. And is seven it? is Pink Print, G, Nicki Minaj from 2014. Eight is Madonna N, True Blue from 1986. Oh. Pearl, that uh, number nine is Pearl. That's Janis Joplin there, her nickname, 1971. Number 10 is the great Grace Jones, uh, J um, Island World or something. I can't remember. Island Life. Nine, not Island Life, 1985. Cindy Lauper is in number 11. Oh, um, she's so unusual. 12, uh, that was 1983. 12 is Lady Gaga's The Fame Monster from uh, 2009, 13 is Hole, that is um, uh, from uh, L, 1994, and 14 is uh, Patti Smith, and uh, that is the uh, Maplethorpe photograph that Cindy was telling you about, that's E. 15 is uh, T.S. Taylor Swift, K, uh, that's 1989, and 16 is Funkadelic with Maggot, uh, Maggot Brain or Maggot Mind, I forget. Maggot brain. Maggot brain. So here are the answers <sighs> cut and pasted here. They're all women. We noticed that. Here is here is uh this here. No, not all of them. Fleetwood Mac isn't. And then well, I'm there's give, females on the band. Yeah, they're they're iconic females in, in the there. band. So what I want to give you now is in case oh. somebody, any of you want to look at that album art closer because you just loved it so much. Here is the screen uh with the answers. Okay, and then also, if you want to write a letter complaining to Billboard magazine, <laughs> a billboard for their horrible choices, here Thank is you. the. Um, Thank you. Here I'm is doing you. that as soon as I hang up. I'll get, I'll this get right on that. God. And what to the correct hell? you, Susan, no doubt is led by a female singer, but the rest of the band is male. That's right. So. But I definitely was uh, looking. There was there was one David Bowie I was thinking of throwing in there, but I definitely was looking for a uh, spotlight on women. And uh, but these are also big albums. They had a lot of hits on these albums. Well, well that's a, but this is about the cover. It's not about. I the know, music. but these are, these are cover nice albums that had a lot of music hits. That's yeah. not what it says though. So maybe I it's know, just but but, but that's what mi mi Billboard counts them for their their prowess I'm on the sorry. charts. When you're picking the greatest them, album covers, it could be a no-name group who never. Yeah, did that's true. Crap. No, that's true. That's true. But Billboard, so, not Susan, not if you're Billboard. Susan yeah. will be writing Billboard a letter, they're, they're and we'll be covers. taking scores now. We'll be taking <laughs> scores now. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Some of us are tired. We're doing good. Let's wrap it up. You guys are well, high level. Thank you all for playing. Just high, just high. Level. Very good, Karen. That was a good category. It got. My this juice is, is going. <laughs> <laughs> Do one of inappropriate religious ones next. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, artichoke. Um, where shall we start them. on our little map? Let's go Elon to. Elon Musk. Are we uh, sharing Elon first? Musk. Are you sharing? Yeah, You're sharing. Yeah, sharing. Yep. I'm sharing. Okay. Sharing. Well, I we share. I'm not finding it. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay. Um, we had nine. Wow. Oops. Nine. Nine. Wow. Well, better than I thought we did. Okay. okay. That's because we were able to figure some of them out. All okay. right. Number the Fall Guys people. Eight. Eight. Well done. Hey, you're tied. All right. Trans Lunar and Jack's the awesome. You got ten. 
Oh. Well done. Town and Slaughter Water up in Density. We also have 10. Wow. wow. Well, we'll just pause right there, shall we? So you don't have a call right. of the show which team is, is yeah, in the done. last play. We're done. We're done. We had, we had oh, 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 10. Stop the count. Stop the count. We'll take a bubble cover for 10 hours. No, no, no. We're done with that. Stop the count. It's been overdone. It'll be a it's nice, fun round number 45. Okay. We had 10. Our comeback starts right now. 10. They're Trump's number. We had five. I think we should have them sing us a song. No. I've already done it once. We got 45? close. We got close. It's that's that's the number of the beast. <laughs> but we got to impeach of the them Florida again. man. Thank Fort you, Karen. That was fun. That was, that was nice, Karen. That was a fun category. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's, not, it's not your that's fault, good. billboards. Oh, you've idiots. managed to stay on for a long time. Ron wow. said you're only going to be here for minutes. Good night, everybody. You're muted. Good night, okay. Good night everybody. Good night. It's late. He's going to run off and go watch Spinal Tap right now. Karen, yes. I just I just read the thing about the Taylor Swift one because that that strikes me as totally bizarre. This cop off the top of her head. Well, it says this became a meme and everyone was making photographs like that. Uh -huh. So that's why it became. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. So it was, again, it was, it was iconic. It was like a Polaroid. Oh, yeah. it was, it was, it was did, you, did you hear what Taylor Swift did to Ticketmaster yesterday? No, no, what did she do? What she happened? crashed uh, her neutral Destroyed crashed their it. servers. Yeah. And Ticketmaster yeah, that's, decided that's today her. that because it was their pre-sale. So Ticketmaster's decided today that we're not going to do any sale for the rest of the general public. Hmm. And tickets are going for forty two thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, Maybe Elon Musk could buy it. That <laughs> That's what we're hoping. Can Elon Musk buy them? By I heard about something about that, but I didn't realize. I thought you said that Taylor Swift had done something. No, no. they have a monopoly. Like places, you can't you can't even buy yeah. at a box office. You only can yeah, buy through Ticketmaster. If, you, if you, the person who owns Ticketmaster owns Live Nation, yeah, also yeah. Sirius XM, iHeartRadio, so mm. he needs to go away. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the best this one right here. I'll just put this little link in here. Oh god, what kind of oh what kind of video is this? Did you guys see John Oliver do Ticketmaster? Yes. Oh yeah. He John Oliver's there. the best. Yeah, he ripped them big time. Yeah. So look up John Oliver Ticketmaster. I tried to find it and I came up with some weird looking people just just don't buy any more tickets until they I mean that's ridiculous. The monopoly. This, this was the voted album. the worst, the worst album cover in history. Where? Which was? On my screen. Oh, oh you oh, showed this before. It's yeah. Ozzy Osbourne or who? No, was it's it? Billy Joel. Oh, <laughs> that's got to be the worst. That's nothing. I was actually going to mention the album art for Born Again. What is it? Well, let me. Infinitely worse, in my opinion. Uh, oh boy. That's green. It's black. That's, that's pretty beautiful. bad. Oh, that's, yeah. awesome. that's awesome. Wow. No, that is oh, so cool. ugly. Oh, yeah, no. This this is just no. It's I mean, cool. look at that font. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, the font's thing. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the nail <laughs> should not be yellow. Oh, oh my god. Really, really detracts from the where's its nipples? <laughs> one of our friends is pregnant. Again, that's where you her, went. One of our friends is pregnant in her Halloween costume, a couple's costume with her husband was he went as Satan and she went as Rosemary. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, at least she didn't go as Carrie and dump blood all over her head. Well, she brought a plastic knife and was walking around. Whoa. Does she have really uh -huh. short hair? Yeah, she had the short little blonde oh. wig and the little oh. baby doll nightgown, and I was like, "This is so wonderful." That is good. <laughs> this is the best costume. No, That's you funny. guys, you guys had a really good costume, and it's like on. <clears throat> she was faced with a winning queen. costume. Right? I was, I was, yeah, but her. but the winner was Romero, who went as a data. data he got minor. second place. But 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 Faith's outfit is going to be the only one immortalized in a skeptical inquire article. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Rob. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yes. And I mentioned her a really good British accent. So. Oh, she, she had a great good. accent. She was in character the yes, moment we saw the, her. I love she never left it because we took her yeah. costume off. <laughs> you took her costume off? I did leave it briefly. I did leave it briefly. Did you? When somebody wiped whiskey on my dress. Oh, that was oh, yeah. funny. <laughs> Stunning. Yes. All right, y'all. You guys are getting married in this later? I've got to write a letter to Billboard. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as much as you were complaining in our room Go about for those covers. So don't forget to listen to the skeptics. I'll, I'll put this video in here, too, because I gave it to my team, but I'm going to put it in here again. All right, December 1st. Um, This is the Ave Maria from... Uh, okay. From uh, Rob Palmer. I'm Rob Palmer. Okay, from Maria. Father Ted. Oh, that, you know, I get yeah. Rob Palmer and what? Father Ted mixed up. <laughs> so, so, Susan, you need to research uh, the No Doubt song so you can sing it to us. Okay, so what is it called again? No I'm Doubt. Just a Girl. How, how does it go? I yeah. can't tell you. I forgot. I'm just a yeah, they Everyone's like, what are you guys talking about? Just a girl who can't say no. No, 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 not no, that that's not how it goes. Okay, I see it. I'll, I'll have it for you next week. Okay. Well, don't let me out of your sight. Oh, I'm just a girl, all pretty and petite, so don't let me have any rights. This is the song you were singing. <laughs> I told you it was bad. I don't know the tune, but you knew yeah. those lyrics. A really good song. Is yeah, it it's catchy? a good song, and I uh, I guess I should tell the rest of the group. Tell the um, rest of the group. My, my embarrassing story is back when I worked at Best Buy as a, as a PC tech. Uh, I had a customer on the phone and had to put him on hold to look something up for him, but I just set the phone down so he could still hear what's going on. Got busy doing something else, forgot he was there, and we have in the store, the in-store music was playing, and it just so happened to be, I'm just a girl by no doubt, and I was singing it and I was serenading him, not realizing that he was still on the phone. And so then I'm just oblivious and my manager walks in. He's like, did you leave someone on hold and forget about them? He's talking about you singing a song. And I'm like, oh, my God. So needless to say, he had to hang up and call back because uh, I forgot about him. And so so Yes, I know, terribly. But what's funny is I was mortified, but the guy was just laughing because he thought it was so hilarious that I was serenading him on the phone, essentially, while I forgot about him. So he was very cool. I apologized profusely, and I was probably never been more red in my life during that experience. <laughs> so when I when I watch this for the first time and listen to the song for the very first time, I'm going to picture you. Yes, you can picture me. That would be interesting. Yes. Oh, and I was going to tell. We'll just have uh, to go karaoke when we get together, and, and then I'll sing it for you. I was going to tell uh, who was interested, Kyle, about the ad blocker since you did the, the how it, how it got me banned for life oh, from YouTube. Yeah, I, wanna, yeah, I think yeah. you told that, but I want to hear it again. Uh, yeah. So, well, I, I just gave you the the answer to the story, but I didn't know what had happened. So I was on YouTube. I made a comment on a post. I think I actually posted a, a link to something on someone else's post and within a few minutes i got a notification from youtube that i've made a, a violation of their uh, user agreement and uh i think it was like you're temporarily suspended until we look into this and then within five more minutes it was like oh you know you have one chance to dispute this and here's how you dispute it by clicking this button and tell us why we're wrong well it didn't tell me what i did it's like being dragged to court and the charge is not read to you. So I clicked the button and basically said, you have to tell us why you think we're wrong. And again, there was an, I didn't know what I was being accused of. So that's what I wrote. I don't know what I'm being accused of, right? The, the notice does not say that. I don't know that I did anything. And within a day it got back, no, sorry, we, we dispute what you just said, you're banned for life. And that was it, my account was terminated. So cool. I, it was, I was actually trying to use it to get something to Jay Novella. And so I said, I don't know what to do. I have to find another way to get you because my YouTube account was terminated. And he goes, what? And I get told him the story. He goes, I know somebody at Google and they own YouTube. Let me contact wow. them. So he contacts him and he gives me his Bible. information. And he said, I trust Rob. He wasn't doing anything wrong. And da, 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 da. So I send the guy says, well, and then he shows me what happened, which I didn't have access to anyway. 
what I posted was posted like 50 times instantaneously, faster than a human being could click a button. Post, 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 post. Wow. Right? And so his only, his guess was, do I have any air blockers installed, something that would interfere with the way the browser is working? I said, actually, yes, I installed something just the other day. There you go. And it's ridiculous that they, 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 there's no... No, it's worse than Facebook. Facebook gives you a temporary ban normally, right? They put you in Facebook jail. No, this is right. your gone for life. Your account's terminated. You can't get to anything you uploaded. It, it's... That's the problem with these, that they have all these automatic things that shut people down, but they don't yep. hire enough people to uh, look at it yeah, to control. To moderate it. And then yeah. you, you, so you yeah. can get shut down and there's nothing you can do because most of us don't have a friend that works at Google. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and all right, I don't make a living off of YouTube. I don't get any money from them at all. It was just my personal account. But people do that now. It's their life savings. And this could happen yeah. to them and they're fucked. I mean, it's just a horrible yeah. situation. Yeah, they have yeah. to change this what exists. they say because they the algorithm can tell what you say. So if there is a, a murder thing, they can't say rape. They have to say the R word. They can't say uh, sexual assault. They have to say, and, they, and that's not even clear they can't anywhere. Say suicide. They have to say unalive themselves. <laughs> all those things will trigger. Yeah, they have to say yeah. unalive themselves instead of suicide. Jamie, I do have you somebody, down for the first. I have somebody, never heard this. Somebody, I one one of the one of the um, channels I watched was a, instead of rape, he would say Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <laughs> that's what? right. That's what? right. What's that connection? Backstreet. <laughs> it's kind of long and cumbersome, but, <laughs> it's but there was actually a big story behind that. I'm just trying to remember what it is. My son Troy was telling me about it a little while ago. Huh. There is a, a backstory to that, and there is sort of some. I think they were starting a reunion tour or something at that time. Anyway, there's a long convoluted story and it's become well, a don't say the word because i'm going to get this thing shut down well i've already had one of these videos maybe two of the videos pulled down because of youtube and then i've had for for copyright at least once for the beatles and i think another one too and i can't remember what for and then one of my um Allison Long did a talk for PsychOn, no, no, for Skepti Skeptical, mm -hmm. and it was on it was on vaccines and Wikipedia yeah. editing, and that just got pulled down. And I was like, "What? What the hell?" And these are old. I mean, it's not like you're. I mean, it's it's they're going retroactively, mm -hmm. and so um, it, it told me I could appeal. And in the little box I wrote, can I have a human being please look at this? Because we're pro-science, pro-vaccine. Yes. And so there's no way that we have violated any rules. And a, within a day, they got back to me. They said, you're absolutely right. Your video is back up. And I was like, oh my you God. You got a better connection than Jay Novella. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I should, you just put in there, I need a human to look at this. I don't know. Maybe that was what I, did. I, I have a friend who has a, a YouTube channel. And during the pan pandemic, he was driving around New York City. And he would just show sites and where there's nobody around. Nobody's out tonight. And just driving around, you know. So he wanted me to do one. So I did one in the Boston area and drive around to some neon signs and stuff. But I had the radio on. And because the radio oh. was playing music, mm -hmm. the whole thing was, yep. you couldn't hear me saying, oh, here's this and here's Cop that. Pointing at things right. because yeah. copyright, copyright, something was barely audible in the background. Yeah, And they absolutely. shut all the audio off. It's happened. It's, it, this is why I didn't shoot video at PsyCon this year. Exact same reason. Because every time I, during the, um, I mean, I shoot video, but not during the dance, not during the parties. Mm -hmm. Because the music gets placed in the background. And if I put up on Facebook or I put it up on YouTube, they do, they take it down. They're like yeah, more than three muted. seconds. They cut it right down. It's like but then look. I, I make don't a lot have of, any control over that. So sorry. I make like, a lot of music videos. Like I tape someone when they're singing and record them, and then if it's their the band who did it, it's no big deal. But if it's a cover song, sometimes they've been taking them down. And then I would record like go to a concert and record it, and then upload it to the uh, to the person they say send your video links here your youtube videos here i send them there and i still get a mark about it being caught being copyright when they ask me for it 
So yeah, I don't understand that because there are a lot of videos on YouTube that are what an individual filmed at a concert. And they're up yeah, that's what YouTube. I do. I get tens of thousands of hits on some of them. I know, but and why did they tell you to take it down when a lot of videos are like are that way? Well, one one thing you have to understand is YouTube has some fairly extensive licensing agreements in place with many artists. So a lot of the stuff you see, how is that on there? Because that particular artist, they may have an agreement with that if somebody uploads it, it's allowed, oh, but they get the right. monetization to them and you don't, the owner of the video no longer gets monetization off of it. So, and I don't even remember where the link is, but there's a place you can go to, on YouTube to go to look up to find every artist that they have licensing agreements with before you upload something. So, you uh, know. That makes sense. It's pretty yeah. hard to list anything done by the Eagles almost anywhere. Or in the Beatles, too. Yeah, or the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. I, we, Actually, you can, well, I don't know if you can do videos on YouTube of Beatle performances, but when I included some of the Beatles songs and my quizzes, it's like you can find their lyrics to their songs almost everywhere on, on the internet. Maybe wasn't YouTube. Yeah, lyrics is yeah. different though. Just written lyrics yeah. is one thing, but yeah. the actual music. But you would think you that that would be a copyright too. Yeah, you would because it's the lots of times the they'll they'll put the lyrics on and put a few words incorrectly spelled or wrong, and I wonder if they do that to get around copyright. I'm not sure. I don't know. There's just wrong words. This, Kyle. Weird. Why don't you have this figured out yet? <laughs> this is your job. Come on, Kyle. Yours. For every minute of video that's uploaded, they get. <laughs> or every minute that passes, they get 60 hours of video uploaded. So they can't possibly watch it all. Mm. Wow. That's so depressing. But Why? But, is this, it's a great scale we've achieved as a species. <laughs> well, well, but you say they can't watch it all, but as they upload, and I noticed this the last time when I was doing all the Psycon uh, uploads, every time I did that, in one of the steps in YouTube, when it's uploading, it says, you know, something like verifying or scanning. Sure. So, like they're doing yeah, it, it in real time as you're uploading the yeah, file. It runs it yeah. their own engine, it's canceled. But, yeah. But it's automated. It can't be perfect yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just I don't know. There's just feels like there's gonna be something more. At least you should be like as in Rob's case, like he said, you should be able to really be able to petition for something. I mean, because yeah, I, it's I agree a human with that. being thing again. And right. the people they're hiring are probably not native speakers of yeah and, and by the way this was America. over two years ago so they may have fixed their system i don't know i just hope i never trigger anything again oh i know they the, the same thing you go what the heck how could i possibly how could... Yeah. i'm starting i've been doing a lot of spelling things out and messing up with the word and calling people you just have to call them names now i say what? cucumbers instead of q and oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, you do stuff like that, so you're just, or I put, I don't put Scientology, I write uh, the dollar with the dollar, sign. With the dollar sign. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to mess, I, I use the, the R word because, oh, are you guys watching the Danny Moss Masters trial or following that? Oh my God. No. They should have the jury in tomorrow. It's going to kill. It's awful. It's amazing what's happening to Scientology. It's incredible. Oh my God. Give us the, the two minute detail. Yeah. Summer. Danny Masterson from the 70s show. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's a Scientologist, big time. He's a very abusive man. And he did that R word to multiple women in in his house. And it's graphic. All of I mean, it's detailed everywhere at the court case. So there's no cameras in the courtroom, but Tony Ortega, who we wrote his Wikipedia page for, and is a friend of mine now, he um he is he is Mr. Scientology. He follows Scientology like like perfect. I mean, he's always following him. He's really good. He's got the, the underground bunker blog. Anyway, so he's following the case. And these these are things happened to these women in 2003, 2002, 2004. And you would think there'd be a statute of limitations. But what they're all actresses and they were all Scientologists. So what happens in Scientology is you are not allowed to report one Scientologist to another. You are not allowed to go to police. And if you did um, report your the crime that happened to you, they sit you down and they say the person who did this has more power than you. They're, they're more 
they receive yeah, higher level. level. Yeah, higher levels than you. They they make money. They're famous. They're celebrities. Yeah. And it's always you brought it in. You pulled it in. They say. So if you had a crime committed to you, let's say you got hit by a car, and the person who hit you is a Scientologist, you're not allowed to go to the police. You're not allowed to do any of that stuff. When you go to Scientology to report it, they're going to sit you down. And they're going to put you on the meters and they're going to say, you must have hit somebody in your past life. Who did you hit? Who, what did you do in your past life? And because these people are on the e-meter, they think it's like a lie detector test. They will make up stories from their past lives of them doing this. The same thing if you're abused, as a, if you were abused, if you're, if something happens to you, you're a child and you were a something happens to you by another Scientologist, they say you must have done the same thing to a child in your past life. Yeah. It's, it's, your crimes. it's, it's always putting the blame on you. You have victim. to pay. You have to pay. And it's thousands of dollars of your auditing. Anyway, so what happened with, with um, Danny Masterson is these things happened. Really awful, horrible things happened to these women. They can't say he drugged them because there's no evidence. But what it was is in all the cases, there's four cases, but only three are, three are allowed to go to court, is he said, here is a glass of wine or a drink. Drink it up. Drink it now while I'm watching you. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it now. They drink it. And then within 15 minutes, they're groggy, unable mm -hmm. to respond. Mm -hmm. He throws them into a jacuzzi at his house. He did that to two different women takes their clothes off and then and then they're like wanting to throw up and he takes them up to their bedroom to wash them off in the shower and then he has his way with them and so what's happening is is all of this testimony about what Scientology because these women are like if I had reported this my family would have been gone I I I would have had my whole career would have been gone my you know I would have been labeled a suppressive person and and so they're explaining this and that's putting Scientology on, you know, it's awful. And Scientology is totally backing uh, uh, Danny Miscavige. Yeah. He's got his back. And so now the, it's been on for, it's it's down the courtroom from Hi Harvey Weinstein. It's the same like the other courtroom. And it's been on for three weeks, I think. And Tony Ortega has come out with a transcript every break. Like he's sitting there typing he goes, they go on a break. He uploads it to people who are watching on Substack. And he's, so we're following everything. It's so much better than watching it live because you can do it. It's not like the Johnny Depp trial where you were devoting hours to watching stuff. This is like, you just read it and it's like, oh, wow. Oh my God. You know, and he's really descriptive about what people are wearing and what they sound like and stuff. And so, so the jury went out on Tuesday. What day is today? There's no. So they started deliberations on Wednesday and it is like nail biting. I've been following it all day, like watching Twitter to see if there's an update and it's, and there's no update and there's no update, but Scientology isn't screwed because even if Danny Masterson is found innocent, all this testimony about Scientology policies is out. Well, can they sue Scientology with God? Well, I guess they, they are. have to ask a lawyer if they would have a case. To no, sue. so so there is another case going on with these same women. They're all actresses. They're all out of Scientology now. But there's a case because they've been stalked, and they've had their dog poisoned. They've had um, uh, awful things happen to them. I mean, really horrible things have been happening to them since they finally did report it to the police. It sounds like a criminal organization. Well, it is. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, they are. so that's, what, that's the way they should be viewed. Well, it's really hard Certain because what happens categorized as such. when you're when you're a Scientologist, you sign a form that says, "I will not sue another Scientologist." This is well, an you will have to go to <laughs> You can't report them because you've signed it. So now, here, here's so no, goes, you can't report them. The law probably would not. Open. Maybe in a civil court, the law may uphold that contract, but in a criminal well, court, that's no. what's happening is they're forcing him to so far but in a criminal court. No, they can't uphold that contract. Yes. They now watch. That. Here's what's now, happening. Listen, hey, but, but not today. Crime. Somebody commits a crime against you. No contract can stop the law. 
from prosecuting the criminal. I know what and you're saying, Cindy, but that. it is not, it is true because what's happening is there's all these people who've reported these things. And then when the judge looks at it, because it's a religion, they're saying, you sign this document, you have to go to arbitration. And there's been a bunch of cases. And today, today, just today, but it can't apply to the criminal. Because you violated the fucking law, no matter no contract can look, the look. Judge, that rule of the contract. No him, contract you sign can indemnify the listen, Here's what happened to just today. Just today, there is a court case that's happening in Clearwater, Florida. Today, what is this? There's several women and people who are who were as children have all these horrible things, uh, the R word to them. They were punished. They had their passport taken away from them so that they could not um, leave the ship, the free winds. They were in Australia. They couldn't get them. Anyway, crime after crime, after crime, after crime. And the judge just today is saying they're trying to decide because these they're forcing them to go to arbitration. And this keeps happening. The arbitration is with the, the church. And today the judge asked the Scientology lawyer, he said, if you are on camera, if you are on video and you're signing the form for your promising to arbitration and somebody's holding a gun to their head as they're signing it. It's not a valid contract. And they, the judge asked Scientology, is that a, is, would they have to go to arbitration? And the Scientology lawyer said, yes. But, but and the judge is trying law. to weigh this. It's still in law. That's dress. Hi, Brandy. That's Good night, Brandy. still up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, heading out to, I'm heading out to folks. Oh. And Cindy, and I recommend if you want Super to learn, interesting, if you you guys. Want to learn about Scientology, you can watch the series uh, by Leah Remini, Remy. The yeah. Aftermath. It's amazing. Oh, this is happening right. right now today. But I'm saying, but criminal law should supersede this type of contract. It should. It's, 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 it's criminal really law. It's a Crime. You're talking about a civil suit, Susan, and contract can apply yeah. a civil suit. A civil you cannot suits, sign yeah. a contract to indemnify someone from a criminal prosecution. Yes. That's different. Well, it's happening. The, the, but no, not everybody you might be getting confused with civil a, cases. Not everybody who signs these is aware that it right. may or may not be admissible in the court. And if you sign right. something thinking this is what it is, you have signed a contract. They may not report something because they think that, well, that is happening. What they yeah. say well, I think part of part of this yeah. is the Scientology night, everybody. asking people after they've left, and so that contract is no longer valid. But they're still they're harassing, still enforcing them. it. Yeah, but I don't think that that contract can be enforced in a court of criminal law. In civil law, yes, and I think for the, as Catherine said, for the person who signs that, it's a psychological effect that they can't report that, even though it's a crime. But I, I don't see a criminal court ever upholding that kind of contract to say, oh, well, this guy committed a crime, but let's go. It, but it has to go to arbitration. No, it's a fucking crime. It's a, it's against the state. And you cannot uphold that kind of contract. That's a contract to commit criminal behavior. You can't. Well, maybe you're that. right. Maybe these were all been so civil, civil cases. And I'm just a, be, but they are crimes. Yeah, but but they're they're civil arbitration. The law cannot uphold, uphold that contract to say we can't convict on this crime because of the because there's this contract. No. They, they, so here's what the argument Scientology is making. Besides the you know you signed it. Even uh, Tony Ortega was saying today. He says. If you were in Scientology and sign a form and you're in the Scientology or organization for a week and then you're out, but you sign the form that you cannot sue another Scientologist. And then right, 20 years like later, you get hit by a car and the car is driven by Scientologists. They're like, not, they say, can you, can you, is this arbitration enforced? And the Scientology view is you cannot sign I mean, you have signed the form saying you will right, not never see it. Yeah, but if you're not a Scientology, you can go to civil court and you can argue, hey, this person who's suing a Scientologist is no longer a Scientologist. This contract is invalid. It, but it hasn't been upheld. And they've been trying for many cases so far. And they've not been upheld. And there's just this one right now that's in court case right now in Florida. And that's the one that the verdict came out about today. 
if I find the link, I'll send it to you. Case because a criminal, I mean, a criminal judge cannot say, well, we can't rule on this crime. That's not, they can't rule on a crime, no matter what the contract says, because the contract can't bar the state from prosecuting a crime. Here, it's state and federal laws trump all contracts. Here, here it is. Tampa, uh, this is a, a there, this is, I'll put it in the chat. You guys can look at it. And you can tell me what you think later, but I'll have to reread it again if it's civil. But this is um, Clearwater, which is the home of Scientology now. It's leaving LA. And they're, this is the court case I was just talking about. They're trying to deal with this arbitration issue, which always keeps happening. Is they keep saying, yeah, you have yeah, to go to arbitration. Crime. Is you it can't civil? arbitrate a crime. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, I don't think civil any suit. state all. will allow that. You can't arbitrate a crime. Civil? Yeah. Not a crime. And if a state is allowing that to happen, it's like we, we got to take a close look at what that's what the state is doing. Why it's the judge technology is so powerful? And then there's this religion aspect, and no judge wants to rule against a religion. Okay, that's like saying the religion. Catholic priests who were convicted of pedophilia are having victims. Well, they shouldn't have been convicted because that's a religion that was flipping against their religion. Well, apparently they can get away with it. They can, they get, they've been able to get around the Catholic things because it was admitted. I, I all I know is what I know. I've been following this for years, and they've they've been trying to get. I, I, do, I, am not, I mean, I, I, I just can't believe it's just it's too outrageous to believe that. Yeah, <laughs> the state will not allow a judgment on a crime because of fucking contract. So you no, guys no. look into it and let me know. It's a, it's a civil suit. That's is this yeah. a civil in this thing I just sent? I can tell you it's a civil suit by looking at it. But they're crimes. There's, you can sue someone for a civil suit related to a crime. That's not a criminal charge. Yeah, it's like wrongful death or something along, along those lines. They, so they, why don't they, they just sue them for a crime? Trump in, in in a, why don't they sue them as a as a criminal court? What? Well, or no, you can't a, sue a them. A prosecutor I mean, has to file charges against them for a crime and okay. the threshold for a criminal conviction is much higher than the threshold for a civil suit winning so a lot of the times criminal charges aren't filed because they don't have enough evidence to get a criminal conviction but you can still file a civil suit against someone for so okay i see what you're saying i see what so you're that's saying. what so they did there's now. not a, the the no that the, the like in this case right now with Danny Masterson, yeah. they finally reached a level where yes. they're right. the, the, where they're the actual state criminal of California charges. or whatever is suing, uh, not suing, is taking him as a criminal matter. Yes. If it's a civil matter, Scientology can say, oh, you know what? Here, here's some money. Go away. Yeah. Or, yeah. But well, in, a, in a case, with criminal case, you can't say, Scientology can't say, go away. Here's some money. If if the court well, can't, so well the judge can't say well, you have a not, contract not, not in the open they can't they can certainly no. do behind closed doors and bribe people but yeah which but then that's like the O.J. Simpson the O.J. Was, Simpson was found innocent but the families took him to civil court for wrong for a death. wrongful death suit yeah so that's what they can do and the burden is lower and, yeah case. in a civil case it's standard fifty percent and a feather for a civil suit. Instead of the beyond reason, yeah, I learned something criminal. new today. Thank you very much, Cindy and Carl. It's On that note, we should go. A, a, a judge cannot say that because there's a contract, we can't let you prosecute this person for a crime. If, yeah. if some, if, yes, if, it some, can't if, the, if the prosecutor court, wants to do it, court. if the prosecutor draws the charges, but not if I say, say I want to. I want to take this to civil. I, I mean, if I say I want to take this to criminal court, and they, I, I can't well, just like take Carl it to criminal said, court. They have to have well, enough evidence. You can they sign a complaint, evidence. and then it'll be referred to the prosecutor. The right. prosecutors make a decision whether or not there's right. Reason so it's not my to determination if it goes court. to criminal. And court. a judge and judge can't throw out the criminal case on the basis of a contract. No. No. See, you guys got it. That's what we're. That's what we're saying. That's why it sounds so well. I got. I got. It. I didn't however, realize that. 
if, you're right, if, you're you, right. if you were the victim, but for some reason are uncooperative, maybe not because you signed that agreement, but because maybe Scientology has a whole bunch of dirt on you because you said a whole bunch of shit during an audit and you're right, afraid right. of that getting out. If the, if the prosecutor doesn't have your cooperation, they're very unlikely to file charges on your behalf without your cooperation. Okay, because, you know, prosecutors want to win their case. I've got to go write this letter to billboard. <laughs> okay. Good I'll night. see you guys next Thursday. A big WTF uh, letter to, to billboard. Okay. You're wasting your time on that. Night. 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 Night.